<laughs> I look crazy. Oh god. <clears throat> Dude, I I really just be sick. Uh You know there's there's moments in time where you just got to power through it. And that's what I'm telling myself right now. Call a six stream. <sighs> wow. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Kay. Dude, I'm... <coughs> well, it's three, so... Three on a Thursday. And I'm, like, sick. Alright. You know, getting sick was probably not the move, but I still have to stream because I didn't, I streamed like, what was it the other day? The weather's nice. I mean, I could go outside. I just, I don't know, like a headache. I took another Advil. I'm hoping I feel a bit better. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> if I, I don't know. It'd be pretty cool if I could do my hair like this, but I can't. It's all like pinned up. Oh man. So, I got sick the other day I might just put a beanie. <sighs> wow. All right. My hair is like, I have a headband on. It was the accident. I don't think, I don't think that's what it was. <laughs> I'm just like I'm like sick in my room I literally can't do anything <sighs> Is my hair long enough to put it in a bun? Uh, No, but I wouldn't do that Personally, I, I don't like how my hair looks When it's like in a bun It's not the most nice looking thing To be honest I know. <clears throat> the only reason I got sick was, um, uh, Jesus. Uh, the only reason I got sick was because, uh, I went to go film that, that video that I meant to, you know, record where, you know, I have fun with friends and get pictures for that video but uh one of my friends was sick so i ended up getting sick because of them so it's kind of the unfortunate thing with that uh. i think i have like a cold or something and it's like i hate getting sick because then i can't i i feel like i'm too tired to do anything i really didn't think i was going to stream today but i was like i should just power through it so I wanna I wanna stick to that schedule that I got going on. It's not that hot it's not that hot outside. It's like what is it? It's fifty two degrees outside, it's not, that's not that bad. Fashion deletist. Oh man. Um, 
did I say I was gonna, I don't even remember what I was gonna do, like, streaming-wise. I don't know if I'm gonna be... <coughs> I think I was gonna start streaming earlier, like, two. I had a really early stream, like, at 12 the other day. What's up, Elijah? Elijah? Jesus. <coughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Uh, it's not really like that I'm, uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. It's not that I feel like I have low energy. It's really just like, I have like nose wise, like stuffy nose sucks. Like whenever you get a stuffy nose and you get really congested, it's like the most annoying feeling to feel and that's just kind of how I feel dude I also feel like my hair like my hair up feels so much more different than how my hair is down <laughs> but usually this is how my hair looks because I put a headband on when I'm at home instead of having it all on my face it's really annoying drink Josh it's better than water Back in the day, this is how I'd style my hair, actually. Kind of. Uh, sort of. Yeah, it's pretty similar, actually. Like, I would... I'd use a lot of product to keep it up. I, I had the sides, like, uh... Like, cut short. I didn't have any of this back stuff. Kind of was, like... Kind of like a pompadour going on. But... Oh, that was a time for sure. Drink some Josh. Let me try and fix this angle though. Last time it was like... This apparently was like a lot, a better angle. Just because of the lighting. I'm also going to be moving quite soon too, which is also going to be like pretty interesting to see. I mean, when I move, I don't know when that'll be. Got to move all my stuff. All right. So today, today, what are we going to get into? You know, like there's a lot of different things we could, we could go and watch earlier. I was watching this, uh, this YouTube video about what do you call it? There was just like that one game um, on on iPhone or like iPad that came out. I forgot what it was called. Wow. <sighs> it's a lot better now. Personally, it's not Flappy Bird. It's a, uh, it's this one game that you would. Uh, <laughs> I'm not giving much like explanation of what I'm trying to say. It's that one game where you you would like slash. You were like a, a a knight, and you would slash at uh, like on the screen. And they used Unreal Engine with this like video game. Um, but it was like, it wasn't a video game. It was like an, an iPhone game or iPod game. I don't know what was, I remember playing Infinity Sword or whatever. Uh, Infinity Blade. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, Infinity Blade was like, I was watching, there was like lore to it and everything. It was pretty interesting. Uh, how do you handle a situation where you are mutual friends with someone that is very annoying and corny, but you don't want to be mean? IRL makes things weird whenever they hang out with your mutual friends, but they follow you everywhere and think they're cool with you. Uh, I think, like, you just got to be honest. You just got to tell them, like, you don't like them. I feel like that's like probably the easiest thing you could do. You just tell them that you don't like them and you kind of go on, go from there, right? Like if you don't like somebody, what's the point of kind of keeping them around? 
I life's about moving moving in your own direction with or without people and I think it's fine if you want to you know just not talk to people I mean I wouldn't tell them like hey you're corny and you're annoying but like you just got to be like yeah I don't I I like I just don't want to continue our conversation I, I don't know what you would say like I don't <laughs> I just don't see us being good friends and like you're just not somebody I'm looking for in a friendship, I guess. It's almost like you're breaking up with somebody, pretty much. That's usually how that kind of feels. Alright, we're gonna listen to C C418. Uh He made the Minecraft music. Which is also fun to have uh when I'm when I'm listening. Uh Okay, what's going on? <laughs> uh, called Dark Souls, a mobile game. Like one time me and my friends wanted to have band practice and she tried coming into the car and I was like, no, you can't come to my house. And she was like, oh, okay. And then got in anyways. And I asked her, so what are you gonna do? And she said, I'll probably go on the bus. She ended up in my home, bro. <laughs> Dude, all you... <laughs> Dude, you just gotta have boundaries. You just tell people, like... Like, I just don't want you in my home. Like, I don't know. It's gonna be really awkward, but you just have to be honest with people. A mature adult would just lay the ground rules down and just say it how it is. Like, if you really don't like her, I would just tell your friends you don't like them. Do the headphones sound good, or is it all aesthetics? Bro, my name's ironic. <laughs> I, no, I figured, but I'm just saying. I, I thought it was just funny to throw that in there. The headphones are pretty good. I like um, these headphones a lot just because um, they're lightweight. <clears throat> I get to listen to like sound this the sounds not that bad <clears throat> the sounds not that bad but I just like how they're lightweight and they're like not abrasive on my head they fit my head too I have a giant head so like it can't it can't get any worse I mean it can't get any better than the headphones that I have now and I've had these for four years now so you know The cartel. Any frizzy hair solutions? Uh, I mean, you gotta use oils or like conditioner. It, it really depends on the types of conditioners you're using. And I think that really differs from person to person. But I like to use Redken. Again, it, I, I think most frizzy hair occurs from damage. That's all that really matters. I mean, hair damage is a huge thing. I think uh, if you're using... Your hair can frizz up for so many different reasons. Blow drying, I would recommend using a diffuser if you blow dry your hair. I, which I don't have a blow dryer or a diffuser, which I probably should get at some point. But it's kind of how it is. You bought George's suede shoes? He's literally, he packed it up today, actually. I helped him <laughs> pack it up. It's, uh, he's, he's gonna ship it out today. He was, like, laughing, because he said, I just put out an offer, and then, like, someone bought them. But then someone else asked about it. Uh, but, you know. Shout out, you, you paid the homie, the guy. The guy needed the money. You should watch all about Lil Lily Chow Chow on stream. Who is that? Hair tonics? Uh 
I think, well, depends on the hair tonic, but... I mean, I use a hair tonic from Colton King. That's like the one thing I like to use, but I don't know. Emotional stream. Any jewelry recommendations under $500? My guy, just go on Grailed. You could probably buy so many different things. Parts of four is pretty cool. Uh... I mean, you could probably buy some Yoji, like, necklaces, too, as well. Gothic. It's called Yoji Gothic. Don't if you've answered this a thousand times already, but what made you do YouTube and social media in general content creating wise? <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Uh, all I, I think most people know why I started doing like content in general. Dude, I hate my, I hate having a stuffy nose. Like it's crazy. So, I, when, also, TikTok's about, like, TikTok's going to be banned, or trying to be, I think Congress is trying to ban TikTok again. There was, like, a notification of, like, something occurring on TikTok. It's like, help TikTok not get banned, but. I mostly started making TikToks because the... The content that I was seeing for a lot of fashion stuff wasn't, it wasn't interesting and I was, I, it made me really mad. I started, I, I started making content out of like, I guess spite was like my main motivator to make content. I had, I don't even want to say it was like, I did have a lot of hatred towards the content that was occurring, right? In the scene of fashion. And I just had a lot of motivation to make content. That's pretty much, it's pretty much it. I felt like they're uh, in, in a society where we're all praised to wear costumes. The most courageous act you can, can do is to have an opinion. And I felt like the fashion community lacked a lot of people that had critique and opinion for the culture as well as for clothing in general. So that's just kind of why uh, I started doing content. <laughs> Turning 18 tomorrow, any advice? Don't. My scalp produces a lot of oil, and the more shampoo I use, the quicker they, they they get oily. Is this a question or like a statement? Uh, did you feel prepared before you started doing it, or did you... Okay, cool. I can't even read the message, it got redacted. Retracted, actually. Jeez, I can't. I need. I need new glasses. How do you get a goth goddess? Be be a mid to average white guy and dress like ass, and you will get a goth woman. Have you seen soldiers by the NYC subways? No, I have not. And I've been out for like. A few days ago, I went out too. August, I, I wish I could respond to your your question. Uh, oh, oh, did I or did you learn along the way? I think with any, uh, who cares if you make a spelling error? I think like. When you start 
creating stuff, you're not going to be great. And I think a lot of artists that make con like, I don't even want to say content, but because it feels so like vacuous, but any artist that makes art or creates things, they always lack um, confidence with what they're producing and they always want everything to look the best and to be the most perceived in the best light so they just never put out their pieces and they go about their day constantly trying to fix everything but i think for the most part when you create something i think it's a moment in time of whatever life you had in that in that day and as you grow, like your work continues to grow with you and you continue to create better things. And I, I think it's nice to see a timeline of things of how you grew up or grew out of certain aspects. And I mean, even if your art was really bad when you were younger and that same thing could be said about like the content creation, the topics you make. As you grow, you start to learn new things and people get to see kind of the growth that you've had as time progresses. And I think like, there's something beautiful about the journey in creating stuff where you get to see someone flourish rather than seeing someone already accomplished with the immediate like thing they put out. There's something really nice to, about seeing someone kind of grow into something good rather than just seeing someone just be immediately good at something. And I think that's just kind of what it is for me, at least. I mean, I knew what I was putting out wasn't great. The content I was making wasn't good. I mean, there was idea, there was purpose, there was a passion, and I was just continuing to make content. I was using, I was very terminology based. I was using a lot of terminology. That's what set me aside from a lot of the other creators because no one used terminology in their content. It was just like, uh, you know, I don't even know what people were putting out on the platform. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even remember. It was garbage, but. I'm probably one of the biggest catalysts, unfortunately, to like silhouettes and proportions becoming such a buzzword because a lot of my videos that I put out had gotten like 7 million views. There's just one specific video that I'm talking about. I put it out, I used silhouettes, I talked about silhouetting, talked about proportions, 7 million views. After that, it got cooked. It's my fault, partially. I mean, Again, like, the telephone effect occurs a lot of the times, but, I don't know, it's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> I'll make you a soup. Let's start with some olive oil and fry up some onions and carrots and celery, and then once it's all soft, add water and a stock cube and some pepper and eat. I already had food. I ate this morning. I also had like a flu tea. Like I had this tea. I had this tea that I ate this morning. I drank actually. I didn't eat it. I feel a bit better. Like, dude, this morning I felt worse. Like, I woke up. Like, I couldn't even sleep, dude. I had like such a stuffy nose and like, it was disgusting. My water's right here. I do drink. I just gotta, I, I gotta stay hydrated. Stay gaming. I mean, honestly, I might just like go to sleep after this, take a nap. How's the Tinder video going? So right now, so this is actually, the Tinder video is actually the reason I got sick. Cause I had to go out. I had to be amongst a bunch of people to take these stupid pictures for the Tinder video. Dress like an idiot. Uh, look, I will tell you guys this right now. Dressing like a normal person, it has perks. I have never in my life have been and or felt welcomed until I started wearing those clothes. People looked at me different, I got stares, and people actually talked to me. And in my life of wearing black for so many years, like, I haven't had that interaction like that in a minute. Like, with just random people. Like, people, 
people were nice to me. People were like, I would actually talk to me and I'd have like conversations with people. And I was like, dang, it really is just how I dress. Did somebody say perks? Jakey, sell all your clothes where... I mean, I have denim, like... I don't know if you guys can see that back there. If I move... I got some denim back there. I literally was wearing, like, a vintage t-shirt. Some, like, salvaged denim jeans. Some sambas. And a Carhartt jacket. I went into this, like, wine store dressed like that nicest people to me and i've and i've never had and i've been in that wine store before dressed like how i dress but they would never talk to me <laughs> so it was like really it was a really interesting moment for me to like kind of have that girls would look at me like not in a he's weird looking way they they would like appreciate my my my, I don't know, like, my existence, that's what it felt like, dudes were staring at my outfit, looking at my jeans, I don't know, dude, it was a whole different feeling, I haven't felt like that in a minute, I started thinking, maybe I should start dressing like this, <sighs> suck at layering video, yeah, but it's like warming up. I'm probably gonna make a summer video. Like how to dress for summer. I mean, there's a lot to talk about that. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. People fit, feel more comfortable with an average looking Joe compared to your usual style. No offense. No, I mean, you're, you're completely right. Like, I don't know, just like it. It was a, it was a really experience. Uh, I'm not 6'3". Do I have a photo? You, you will see that in the video when, <laughs> when I, uh, when that gets posted. I mean, you will only see the top half, I think, sort of. Well, there is a bit in the video where, where we filmed that, but... I basically like I have another outfit that I need to get filmed or like I guess I need to get a profile picture for the video and like I just haven't been able to go out because I'm sick to get that picture like what I'm thinking for this picture for the like the main profile picture like the the first thing you see is I go, I'm going to go get coffee, sit at a park bench, and then get a film camera picture taken of me. And then bada bing, bada boom, done. Easy, simple. Is that a, no, that's not a speaker. That is a air filter, actually. This, this thing back here, that, that silver cylinder, it's an air filter. Does he show meat here? I mean, I never even heard of that speaker, but I have a speaker over on my, my left, actually. Like, that's my speaker on top of another speaker. That's, that's my speaker. I have a little desk too that like, like the thing about my room is that like, it's, it's a decent size. I just have, well, it's kind of small, but I make it work for what it is. Uh, definitely not enough, uh, room for like two people to like sit at comfortably, to be honest. I mean, 
you can kind of make it work, but it's pretty rough. My room isn't all that, really. It just got... Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I'm off, I thought a roll was a speaker. I like to listen to Apex Twins, I mean, rather than Death Grips, to be honest. It's just my opinion. The trans is the transparent speaker good? Uh, it's good. It's decent, but like for the price point, definitely not. I didn't pay for. It. I got it for free, so it was a gift. So. What do you mean? What if we sat on your lap? What do you mean by that? How has everything been? I'm just sick right now. That's just kind of what it is. I'm really trying hard to like, I want to finish that video for the Tinder video. I just, I, all I need is to get that one picture of my, for my profile. Then I can go set up, uh, I could go like, get that, uh, the film developed, then make the profile sit on it for a week and then see what happens from there and then we'll be done do I be gaming oh do I have a streaming schedule yeah I stream Wednesdays and Thursdays at uh I'm sick right now but I'm, I'm keeping my word I stream Wednesdays and Thursdays from 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to whenever I decide to get off. I usually stream for like two hours or try to as much as I can. I mostly just chat with chat, chat into chat. Still have no name for chat, but that's just kind of how it is. Or we'll go and watch stuff, but it really depends on the day. Am I going to make a hinge video after? I don't know. It just depends on what people want to see. I give an option in, in the video where I talk about like if people would want to see other dating apps and then like certain outfits paired with certain outfits like the Goonies, the Gooners. I used to skate when I was a kid, when I was in high school, I was a part of like a gang of skaters that would actually have beef with other skate gangs, which was stupid. I was, I, I like, I was chill. I never fought anybody, but like my friends in that gang would fight other people. I don't know why I was stupid. Uh, do you think people nowadays dress specifically for the view of cameras or still three, for the 360 view of being present in a literal physical space? I mean, a lot of the times, like, the internet is seen, if not, it's not even seen, but it is a third space for so many people to build a community that is very much built on a narcissistic kind of community of one individual, which tends to be the person making the content, and they're, if not, they're not just film, I mean, sorry, and if not, they are just also filled with an echo chamber of yes men that kind of are around them, that don't disagree with them, that just whatever is being presented to them they eat it like slop like pigs the content pigs <laughs> i mean the, the reality of like the third space of the internet space is that people make content i call it peacock outfits to get and if not gain more attention from views likes and comments because those videos always do really well if your your outfits really crazy looking very strange looking even if you get hate comments it's called it's called rage baiting. Uh, like, it, dude, to be honest, like, I could just wear, like, today I'm going to dress in a skirt today as a man, whatever. I don't know. If I make videos like that, I will get a bunch of hate comments, but a bunch of people will, if not, see that because it's crazy engagement. Just rage baiting. And, like, so many people do that all the time. Especially for fashion. Like, it's so easy for dudes to just rage bait wearing skirts and stuff like just for the internet and they know they're gonna get a ton of views because everyone wants to hear about it 
it's the same reiteration of the same like kind of proactive idea where it's like men should wear whatever they want men should wear whatever they want which is true it's valid but like hearing it over and over again especially from the same person it's just like you're squeezing as many views as you can from the same boring take like i don't know it's annoying <laughs> <clears throat> would i ever get link leg lengthening surgery definitely not i don't need that it's kind of crazy to me because like the rage bait meta does work and it's so it's so insane how obvious it is too. Like so many people lack, like, I don't understand. People have like four brain cells and don't realize that it's like to rage bait and or to force you to comment something like for example, and I've done it before too. And I, it's so easy. It's so funny. Cause I was like, there's no way this works and I've done it and it works. It's so infuriating to me. I'm like, people like need to like, I don't, they need to max out their intelligence. It's, it's horrible. Like people will like, okay, there, this is one of the, this is one of the metas where it's like three things I hate about fashion, whatever. And then you, you give two and then you stop. You don't give this the third one, super easy content, very lackluster, very boring, whatever. Then people are like, bro doesn't know three or bro didn't give three comment. Like it just keeps going. Right. You can make that your thing. And then people will just comment complaining that you only made two takes. And it's like, you're falling for the meta. Like, you're an idiot. Congratulations for being a stupid idiot. And it makes me mad because then it's like, the content's always so stupid. It's like, I hate skinny jeans. Uh, I hate the trend of fashion, the fashion fur boots. They suck. And then it just cuts. And then people are like, either pissed off at what they said or pissed off they didn't add that third thing that they said they were going to do. And it's like, that's the point of the video. Like, what do you mean? I mean, it's true, there is no such thing as bad publicity. I mean, any publicity is publicity, but I think I think the main thing about that is that, like, if you're, if you're caught up in something really bad, then, like, you're going to be known for that, unfortunately. I don't know if you want your legacy to be known for that. Dude, no, I have a, I have a roll of toilet paper. Well... I mean, because I don't even have tissue paper. Like, I just have a toilet paper roll of that I've been blowing my nose and. Uh. Look, I don't. I didn't know I was gonna get sick. Like, I woke up this morning feeling worse than I did yesterday. Opinions on gym cells. I don't know. It's valid. Facts. Tissues are going to hurt my nose. I mean, I'm not blowing my nose too. The only reason I'm blowing my nose a lot is because I'm, I'm talking to you guys. That's why. If I was on my side right now, all the... All the mucus would go to one side. I'd be able to breathe through one nose. But I can't breathe through both my nostrils right now <sighs> if someone donates me five dollars i'll go buy tissue paper i'll go buy tissues just a bed stream <laughs> what the hell i think no one would watch that i'd hope people wouldn't want to watch that Uh, feelings on how people treat you more favorably in average clothes versus 
preferred mode of dress. How long am I? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know, like, I think for the most part, like, it's not that crazy to think that people would treat me a lot differently wearing very average clothes because I'm more approachable that way anyway, right? Versus dressing in more black or all black in the typical way of dress. It's not that shocking to me. It's whatever. I just know that, like, again, like, you're more approachable when you dress very mainstream and common versus dressing out of the norm. Should I go to NYC for college? Uh, it depends on what you're trying to get your major in. Well, I mean, like, the community for normal people, I guess. I don't even want to call them normal people. We're all normal. People that don't dress more slightly different, like... The, the, the thing that I hate a lot is that, like, people will... Will kind of differentiate themselves, like, call people, like, NPCs or whatever, but, like... I don't know... <sighs> I kind of hate that ideology of like where you you're ostracizing yourself from like from society because you dress different like sure like you do dress very different from the mainstream but like I don't think it makes you any better than the people that are in the mainstream to begin with you might dress a bit more eccentric m different but like I don't think that makes you any different besides the way you present yourself it's just I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Most of my friends are normies or NPCs from what people would call them and like dude they're they're the best people that I've met. Like I would hate I hate 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 people in fashion because they're the most insufferable people, the most insecure, the most needing to prove themselves that they're so different and like they there, I'm so eccentric, like, I'm into fashion, you wouldn't get it, people don't get it, I'm just so special, these people, like, have such an ego with, like, fashion that it, it kind of, like, it, it sours my taste to even be a part of the community, just in general, because, like, when people ask me, like, oh, you, you're, you're into fashion, huh, and I'm, like, I guess, but, like, I don't want to be associated with those types of people, like, I just hate everybody. Like, I don't know. Like, I hate people. I hate people in the scene. I hate the community of fashion people. I hate them. Everyone that's in it is insufferable, annoying, and insecure, and has a crazy ego. People would think, oh, someone named Fashion Elitist. Like, oh, they have to be, an, they have to have an ego. Like, I was just, it was a meme that I thought was funny, that I thought was perfect. It fit me because I'm like monotone. I dress in all black. It fits my stereotype. And I love stereotyping myself. I love doing it. It's whatever. But like, a lot of the times people will just like, kind of throw me under the bus because it's like, oh, he's pretentious or whatever. Like, I am not pretentious. I, if, if anything, I'm very moderate when it comes to like conversations about people that try and make themselves, I, I know I'm not different. I know that there's a tens of thousands of other people that dress similar but even better than i do by an objective standpoint and i don't care like that's fine with me i'm not the best dressed some people would think i'm really good at dressing i have nothing to prove because at the end of the day what i'm dressing and what i'm putting on my vibe or whatever is just me that like i'm selling what i'm wearing that's i'm the, the person that sells it it's not my clothes that are selling who i am it's it's me wearing them like I think a lot of people forget that because like so many of these people on the internet are so fixated on the idea of needing to like perform and look the best 
but their clothes are wearing them. They're not presenting themselves through the like exhibit of what they're wearing. It's just like, I'm wearing a lot of cool stuff. So that means I'm cool. Like, no, you suck. Like, I don't know. These people suck. I hate everyone in the scene. They suck. <sighs> yeah, the song right now that's playing is it's it's a C418 called United Colors of Scrap Guard. Scrapyard, Jesus. Am I a narcissist? I think we're all narcissistic at some point, right? <sighs> at some point. Well, I don't know. It's like, and narcissism is like very, I don't know. I'm too insecure to be a narcissist. I'm really insecure. <clears throat> oh, the axe body, the axe, the accenting. Narcissists can be insecure. Really? Wait, actually? <laughs> Please educate me. I don't remember learning about when I was in, when I was taking psych. I don't really remember too much about narcissism because it is a. Everybody's hypocritical well, which is okay. That's just a human condition. There are narcissists to make up uh, to make up for their insecurities. Well, I know it's a mental illness. That's why I'm referring to that. I'm so insecure that I'm a narcissist. <laughs> Someone that like, I mean, Selfishness involving a sense of entitlement, a lack of empathy, and a need for admiration as characterized, uh, characterizing a personality type. Uh, excessive interest in or admiration for oneself and one's physical appearance. Uh... <laughs> See a doctor if you struggle with work or personal relationships, feel overwhelmed with sadness. Personality quality, uh, personality, whoa, personality qualities include thinking very highly of oneself, needing admiration, believing others are inferior, and lack of empathy for others. But I feel like that, that's such a broad, that's such a broad, like, diagnosis of, like, narcissism. Because if we look at, like, uh, it was, like, sociopath, I haven't called a sociopath before. <laughs> Like the, it was like, those with antisocial personality disorder may begin to show symptoms in childhood, but conditions we diagnose. Uh, those with. Wait, what? Wait, this is anti personality disorder. It's not what I'm looking for. Lack, see, sociopathic traits, lack of empathy to others, impulsive behavior, attempting to control others with threats or aggression, using intelligence, charm, and charisma to manipulate others, not learning from mistakes or punishments, lying for personal gain, showing a tendency towards physical violence in fights. I'm not violent at all. I've never been in a fight before. Um, I don't think I'm a narcissist. <laughs> could be a covert narcissist like I don't I mean I don't like I don't feel like I need admiration from people like I've never have ever felt like that and a lot of the times like when I do meet people like I don't know if anyone's ever felt like this, but I've gotten a lot. Like, a lot of the times, a lot of people have to prove that they're good enough to me. I don't know why. Because, like, I don't care. Like, the thing is, I just really don't care. I'm very indifferent to a lot of things. And people know that. So, for some reason, people always feel the need to try and prove themselves to me. But, like, I just... I'm very indifferent. I grew up apathetic. Like, I grew up... Like, I was a very apathetic kid, and I didn't really care about too much. And, like, to me, I, I view the world where it just doesn't really matter. 
what I say, what I do, like, doesn't really affect too much unless I'm trying to be an asshole or mean to people, then yeah, that matters. But if I live my life where I'm not affecting other people's lives by in a negative light, then I don't think it really matters too much. I think, like, my entire existence for even being around is just to, like, I'd hope to, like, challenge people's thoughts and opinions and have a nice discussion about something, even if I'm wrong. I think that's all that matters. I don't know. I just don't think, like, I'm... Like, even the position that I'm in now, like... I feel like that, like, I still don't think I've earned anything. I don't know, like, I, I have a lot of imposter syndrome, too, slightly, like, kind of. I don't know, like, I think, like, if you make, if you make good things, good things will occur, right? I, w I mean, I think anyone would assume that. So I just feel like if I'm making good content, then there's stuff that will come from it. But, like, I'm very, like, appreciative of everyone that supports me. Like, and I, that's the other thing is, like, I don't view anyone as fans. Like, I've had a lot of people come up to me and they're like, oh, I'm, like, a big fan of you. And, like, I'm like, no, you're not. You're not. You're. I'm just another person that just makes content and you support me. And, like, I appreciate it. I always tell people that if they ever say they're a fan of me, because I don't want to ever hear anyone praising me or putting me on a pedestal, because I don't feel like, what, I don't feel like I deserve that, because, like, I think anyone could do what I'm doing if they had time to sit and think, right? I just took a different, like, route than most people when it came to what they put their time and energy into, and I'm sure there's tons of people exactly like me, and I have met people that are like me that think, I think a lot, um, but, and I'm sure there's a lot of people in here that think the same amount, right? And that's why you guys like the content I make, <laughs> because it's nice to hear that, like, at least someone on a platform is doing something similar or whatever, right? don't idolize people. I, I, I agree. Like, I, I feel like if I'm ever, I would hope that I would never be idolized. Like if someone were to ask me like what my legacy would be, it would just to be, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be idolized. I don't want people to think like I'm the greatest person. And I also don't want to think, make people think that I'm really smart. Cause I'm really stupid. Like I'm the dumbest guy. I'm pretty stupid. I'm not, like, this intelligent being that's, like, super, super smart. I just am very opinionated, and that's just what makes me a bit different than most people. In this day and age, again, like, like I've said this before, the, the most... The most courageous thing you could do, or whatever, is to have an opinion. Like, that's just kind of how it is. But then making a channel would be counterintuitive. Nah. I mean, at the end of the day, I like making videos. Like, I, I like talking and expressing my opinions. Because my main, my main deb debut of making content to begin with was because I hated what was in the scene of content creation for fashion. Like, it was either pickup videos or very mainstream approaches and I wanted to share my own thoughts about how I felt about certain things and that's what I like doing is I like to share uh my own thoughts and feelings about things no matter how critical they are and I do that with my friends so I mean I just felt like doing it on the internet's fun if you felt guilt you might not be a sociopath Only stupid people say they're smart. <sighs> Is it okay to wear glasses to look good when I don't really need them? Uh, Loki, I judge you, not gonna lie. I hate when people wear glasses when they don't need them. Look, 
like if you don't need them just accept how your face looks you're lucky enough to not have to wear glasses No, it's highly offensive and it's appropriating poor eyesight culture. I've never done modeling, no. Don't care if I'm gonna wear them regardless. I mean, yeah, you can wear them, but like, I, I think the thing is like, no one would know unless they put them on. Or you could gaslight them into thinking that like, you have the right prescription enough for them to wear them. I hate contact lenses. I don't like anything touching my eyeball. What do you mean, Kevin? Now what? What do you mean? <laughs> in truth, I feel like what you say in your content is what I already have going on in my mind. And in conversation with my friends, it's nice seeing someone approach fashion more critically. So I'm telling you, man, like there's other people that feel the same way about what I'm saying. Like, it's not like I'm some fucking guru making content that's like insanely different. I mean, probably different from what's being constantly shown on the internet, yeah, but in terms of people, definitely not. Uh, I was reading, I was reading this book, oh my gosh, I was reading a book, and where, in this, I think it actually was in this book, <laughs> that I'm using as a mouse pad right now, uh, let me find it. it, it was, it was a pretty cool quote, and I, like, kind of, I agreed with the, let me find it. I wish I had, uh, did I not, I remember, did I read this specifically? Um, I just don't like contacts. Like, I just hate putting contacts in my, my eyeball and I wouldn't, I have a lot of fear of it going into the back of my eyeball. I also don't like touching my eyeball. And I just don't like, I like my glasses. I all, the, also the other thing too as well is that like, when I, my eyes get tired of wearing my, my glasses so I get to take them off whenever I want to. And that's the nice thing about that. It was literally, I don't even remember where it was, but basically it was saying that like, there is an awareness, like, you may have came up with a thought or an idea and you decided not to speak about that thought or idea but then another might come around and speak about that it's just kind of how the world works in regards to thoughts in general like meaning you're not going to always be the one person that has a unique thought at some point in some point in time someone else will come up with that idea maybe just maybe you might be the first person that had thought about that thing but then at some point someone else will think about it I think that's kind of how it is. You di I did model in the wolf cut hairstyling tutorial. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not like a model. Like I, I was just, I don't know. I was just used because he, he liked my hair and like, I'm a big guy. Like that's the thing. I could not actually do modeling. Yeah, nothing's original. Well, something is original until it's not. You know what I mean? <sighs> Have I ever made out with the same gender? 
No. I'm si okay. I'm 6'2", 197 pounds. My shoulders are about a almost 20 to 21 inches just across. My waist, a 32. My hips, a 36. I am too large. My bone structure is too big. I'm too wide. Even if I cut my skeleton, I am too big. It doesn't... I will not be able to model. I am not fit for modeling. You have to be a 28 waist or a 30 inch, at least a 30, 30 inch hip. <laughs> like you gotta be tiny. You gotta be a skinny guy at 6'2". Like your skeletal, like you cannot have broad shoulders. Like you have to have like pretty thin shoulders. I have like all of my friends that have been models like for dudes, like, they're so much, like, significantly smaller than me. Like, their their measurements are insanely smaller than me. <sighs> I like how JQ is always trying to talk about interesting things and someone's like, do you like femboys? That's just kind of how, that's just kind of how the culture is. drink soup why is my necklace seven hundred dollars retail Neoliberalism. I think it's, uh, I don't think it's great. Dude, literally in, in, in the, in the books, the neoliberal regime, the neoliberal regime, like, Han talks so much about the neoliberal regime, but I don't really want to talk about that. Doctrine by Naomi Klin. No, I have not. Or the shock doctrine. That also sounds like a great book. Dude, like, I, okay. I've talked about this earlier. You guys always recommend me, like, books. And, like, I'm like, dang, that sounds like a fun book to read. And then I'm like, I'll buy it. And then I'm like, oh, man, I got to read this other book before I read this book. And then I just never get to it. Am I a homeowner? Hell no, dude, what? Does my necklace retail at $700? Does it actually? Which one? Because I didn't get it for $700, I'll tell you that right now. I do have an Andy blazer. What's your questions about Andy? Please read No Longer Human, JQ, the book. Well, I I already know the general concept of, like, the book. But, yeah. Any, oh, any books by, uh, Doskovsky? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I have, I have not read any books from him... I don't think so. I'm going to say no, but I, I have been in a lot of classes in philosophy that would refer back to him, but I never read any of the books. It was just my teacher referring to him, but I don't really remember too much. I do recognize the name, though. Oh, th I did read that book then. Notes from the Underground, I read that book. 
That was in my English class. I rec I know that. So I didn't know that was by him. I did read that book. That book was fun. Um, I wrote an essay about it. I actually might still have it on my computer. Not gonna lie. <laughs> read my essay. Notes from the underground. I wonder if I have it still. The, I mean, that's like. I wonder if, if I would actually. I think it would be in my. I think it would be in my. Um, I'm assuming. Okay. Let me see. It would be in my old college, like, my old college, uh, Google account, my drive, I'm assuming, unless it's not in there. I still have that. Okay, it looks like I can't access it. <laughs> Philosophy reading stream. Who would wanna who would wanna be here for that? <laughs> I wear I've worn color. I have color in my wardrobe, like right here. Do you see do you see the color there? I got red boots. I got green back there. It doesn't get more colorful than that. <laughs> Legitimate might be good background music or noise. Let me see if I can sign into my old college um, account. Unless they ban me from it. Did they actually? Wait a minute. Um, literally don't even know, like, what the hell? Okay. Do I actually have to, like, log into... It shouldn't be like this at all. What the hell? Okay. Do they delete old accounts? Dang, that sucks. That's... That's so booty, what? How am I still able to log into my... I'm able to still get into my... Like, my, on my Gmail, I'm able to still get it.
This is so funny. I'm able to see like my old PDFs and stuff from my teachers. From May, from March twenty from March twenty two two thousand seventeen, I was able to open it and read it and grade it. Your final score on this paper was a sixty eight. Believe me, I bumped it up significantly. You have a lot of potential, and for some insane reason, I want you to be better, and I'm willing to work with you. You're a good student, and you're insightful and bright. Put more time into your papers, and I will also make time no make the time to work with you for the next one. No more zoning out in class. I mean that. JQ Eddie. <laughs> that is funny. Um, that was the weird teacher that I had, yeah. I still have, like, messages from this, like, professor. These kids are making a lot of ruckus. I mean, apparently I was. Uh, I mean, I, I would want to try and get into my, my account, but I don't remember... Because I feel like it'd be fun to read my old... Okay, let me let me see if I can recover my old... Oh, I did, okay. Wait, what? Okay, close. So wait, this is my... Okay, wait. I think I know my password for this. What school, what did I go to school for? Well, I went to a community college. Um, literally don't remember what my password was. I went to a community college to get all my prereqs done so that I could go to a nursing program because there was no point in me doing that on a, for four year, like it didn't make any sense. I don't want to use... I don't want to use the strong password, whatever. That's fine. That's fine, whatever. Okay, I got, I got into my account. I got into my account. see if I can actually log into this. Where will I be at in 50? I have no clue. Alright, let's see. Let's see my old essays. If I got them in here. Um, let's go to my Google Drive. Just go to Drive. Alright, let's see. Wait, what? 
that's my this okay this drive yeah I got all my papers here from the bio paper to these kids out here are like insane what's I think this is a history paper the zoot suit trend in the US I think all my old papers were like pretty far down. Oh, I did a a, hist a Russian fashion. Do I really not have any more? Do I not have any essays on? I guess I don't. I don't think I have any of my old essays that I wrote in here it's all my fashion like stupid stuff that I did that's kind of sad what the dark side of Harajuku style this is a very visible Visible outward expression with a dark twist that is also involved in this way of dress. There is a new style that is happening in Japan called Yama Kawaii, which tackles mental health illness and depression. Yama Kawaii is a focus on pastel colors and is kind of soft, while Yama Kawaii has a darker elements like black and medical themes and grotesque themes are included. In the video, Dark Side of Harajuku Style, Kawaii is a Japanese word for cute. Yeah, this is boring. I don't I don't know where my old I wonder what what I when or where I had all my old essays at. You got called the wannabe emo. Oh what the hell? Okay, I actually found my Hollywood critique garbage essay. That's what I called it. <laughs> oh, this is... So this was an essay on the glass castle that I wrote. And I, the title is more like garbage castle. <laughs> the process of development in children are mostly impacted by the parents who raise them. In the glass castle, the reader sees how parents can impact their children heavily. Through defense mechanisms incorporated in the parents' lives, the reader sees how devastating and brutal it can affect the children they raise, ultimately creating very self-reliant and mature children. The dynamic of Rose Mary's rationalization and Rex intellectualization impacts the children to develop into more mature individuals. Due to the mother's inability to rationalize properly, she justifies her selfishness or her selfness through her mentality. Jeanette understands her mom's views point on why she never tries. That was like, uh, I don't know if I got a good grade on that one. <laughs> Bro cooked. The titles of my essays were always stupid. Uh, this was another one. So Juan is number Juan. That was the title of this essay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what book was this? As a man looks upon humanity, he will see flaws. Humanity's vanity knows no bounds. Their moral sense is vacuous. Their modesty is a joke. They're all paradoxical, too ignorant to handle their vast intelligence. Through Juan Pablo... Oh, though Juan Pablo is a... Con uh, contemptuous murderer his obsession with maria and society could be looked at as a representation of humanity's vacuousness through juan pablo though juan pablo is a continuous uh, wait, i already read that oh did i double that he sees himself indifferent to the society due to his view of humanity juan pablo reflects on how humankind has tendencies to be flawed by saying i have always looked on people with apathy even revolutionaries what book was this Sab Sabato, what book is this? You were made to make YouTube titles? 
What book is this? Sabato? I don't remember reading this. So I kind of remember this. It was like a sad book. Book? I actually don't know what book this is. And then I quote Anna Freud's uh, defense mechanisms. <sighs> Anna Freud's book of defense mechanisms saying intellect intellectualization, which means making sure their research is keep a range of more pertinent issues at bay. Juan Pablo does develop this defense mechanism from his thought process of humanity and the way he perceives everything. I wonder if I got a good grade on this. Uh, this was the idea of the American dream is through hard, honest work, anything is possible. Through a son who who depicted of having the American dream is pushed to go in a downward spiral and leave that dream for another. Oh, this was The Godfather. I wrote a paper on The Godfather. <laughs> this is another essay. Uh, the title is, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. What is this? What what book is this? Philo Philomenia? God's peoples are supposed to be set to a high standard than regular man, yet the strive for perfection causes denial and a misconception on reality. The nuns in the film Philomenia are very untrustworthy due to the fact that they hide valuable information. Nuns are expected to have compassion of God, oh, have the compassion of God, but they are far from compassionate as their illusions of charity is shown through selling children and, and announcing it as adoption. Oh, adoption, Jesus. Interesting. That is not my papers on... I have a lot of concepts to share. 8, 15. Ah, Notes from the Underground. This is, this is the essay that I wrote. And I called it... The title is... The Underground Eddie. Society has been created due to the sheer fear of being inhuman. One's self-destructive tendencies can cause their thoughts to be conflicted with contradictions due to the tendency of being over-analytical. Being rejected by society is shown by Foyer... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Dos, someone said it. Dos tiv, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Notes from the underground filled with spitefulness towards society... The reader visualizes how the underground man is self-destructive from his de depiction on his thoughts, emotions, and society. The overall conscious nature of the underground man causes him to, to react in a self-destructive manner based on his thoughts and emotions due to his view on society. Doskovis, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I mean, I did read this book, and I have a whole essay about it that I wrote. Weak analysis? I don't know. I mean, I was in 1C, which was, like, college level? I don't know what the hell that was. Or above? I don't remember. There was an essay that I wrote on Big Fish, I think, that was pretty good. Ugh.
I'm in high school. What is going on? Is AR in here? What is what is happening in chat right now? <laughs> More like garbage fish. What is AR talking about? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, AR, who are you responding to? She wants you, bro. She's teasing. JQ, is it weird to fantasize about sucking the mucus from your nostril? It makes me sad seeing <laughs> seeing sick like that. You mean seeing me sick like that? Dude, AR... You know, I got sick really recently, um, there's not much I could do about it. <coughs> there's a cold going around, you know, and, you know, it just, it happens to be so. I mean, I said I was going to stream at three and I did. AR is trying to help a helpless soul in chat, the usual. Is it Sloth? Who Who is he talking to? <laughs> Jinko son or tiny shirt, big pants daughter. Those are both horrible, like, horrible options. <laughs> Sloth is a man of God. AR, when did you, when did you join? Sloth is an atheist. What? So what's what's uh, not anymore? I'm so confused on what's happening. So, is he having a woman problem? <laughs> What's... I'm so confused. What triggered this conversation? I am wearing a Prem hoodie. Um, <coughs> I've had this hoodie since... Um, Uh, 2019. I've never gotten rid of it. Oh, none of you guys are having women problem because you guys get all the women? Is that why? I mean, it's a pretty good assumption. Ugh.
Oh, also, I forgot to tell chat this, but I got invited to another showing. Another night out on the town, so to speak. Uh, oh, Scentbird invited me to another, like, to some showing, I don't know, like some party or whatever, so I, I gotta go. I have to go. And it's on a Thursday. It's next week. It's on the 14th. I don't know why it's always Thursdays. It always is Thursdays. I don't know why. It's so weird to me. But I gotta go. The Axe of Body Spray. Uh. How did the accident go? I mean, I never even got to talk about the accident when I did go. <laughs> So it was a very intimate, it was a very intimate thing, right? So as many of you guys know, I went to this axe event and I got there and there was like probably like 30 people, but like everyone knew everybody and I knew nobody. Alex Costa was there, that fashion YouTuber guy who's like literally just alpha M but a different font. Ugh. And I was like sitting um, across from him and uh, this other guy named Joe who also does like fashion content, I guess. I ended up having like not, not such a bad time, but like, dude, I was just like, I went in there, I had no friends. I didn't know who I was going to talk to. And I was like, oh, God, I might have messed up here. Actually, high key, it's so like it's it's not I'm not going to lie. Going alone's crazy. I don't know why I did that. That's insane of me. I don't know why I did. I don't know why I went alone. Like. I don't know how I socialized with people. I, it somehow happened. <laughs> Okay, this is a great question. How did I socialize with people, right? Thank you, Q. Appreciate that. Uh, Alex Costa was probably like 5'9", I think, or 5'10". He looked, he's too kind of small. From what I could tell, but... Tell us about the lies you told. <laughs> I just told people I sold clothes. They're like, how did you get here? I'm like, I'm only, uh, to be honest, I'm only here for the food. That's why I came. Uh, no one recognized me, no. Dude, they're all like big, these are all like influencer kids or like people like from YouTube apparently. It was like either, it was a mix of YouTubers and Instagram reelers from what I'm aware of. The food was fire though, it was lamb chops. They served me lamb chops, dude. When people ask me, like, oh, why'd you come? And I'm like, to be honest, I only came for the dinner and the drinks. Like, that was it. Now I'm heading out. I'm not staying here any longer. You suck at socializing? I suck at socializing. I got into the door, like, and I was in an elevator. And, uh... When I entered the door, like, everyone was, like, already, like, with their drinks, like, in, in their groups of people, and I was like, shit, this looks, damn, I, like, didn't know, you know, I don't know what to do, so at this point, I, like, asked, I was like, oh, are, are these people coming, and they were like, yeah, we invited them, but they can't come. 
<laughs> I was not the Wojak. So, I guess the ho- one of the hosts, like, came to... They knew who I was. They were like, hey, JQ, like, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing well. And they're like, well... So, they were, like, showing me around of, like, what was around. Like, this is the fragrance. These are the drinks. Here's the dinner table, whatever. And she's like, oh, let me show you um to your, uh, like, the people you're going to be sitting around next to. Because we were all, like, sitting next to people. And I was like, oh, sick, for sure. So she went to go introduce me to the people that I was sitting next to. And I talked to this one dude uh, for a long time. Me and him, I, like, he talked about how he was, like, he worked in tech and only worked, like, an hour every, like, three months. And, like, was chilling because he was making so much money, I guess. He was a cool guy. He talked about philosophy with me. He recommended me some books to read, uh, more books. Uh, we chatted for a bit, talked about, like, art a little bit, and then, uh, I talked to his friend, who was, like, some fashion guy, too, he went to fit, just very briefly, and then from that point on, like, we had to go sit down, also, like, there is, <laughs> I want to show you guys this, if you go on Axe, like, the actual Axe account, you'll see me, like, lurking in the back, I don't know if it's, like, Axe, like, let me see if I can find it. Oh, it might not be here because it's probably been 24 hours already. Oh no, has it been 24 hours? It might have been, actually. Yeah, it, it's gone. There was a there was a story like of like them recording kind of like the accident, and I was just like kind of in the corner, <laughs> talking to this one dude. Or, like, I was just eating food. Like, I was, like... <laughs> it was so funny. Popping... Popping an Eddie would make shit worse? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, definitely would be... That'd be horrible. JQ, why such autistic behavior? Everyone's coming for the food, but nobody says that? Look... I think it's more based and honest to just speak what's on everyone's mind out loud rather than just keeping that inside. You think I came for the vibes? No, I came to eat the food. I'm not there because I like it. I'm not there because I like Axe. I'm, I'm, I come there to eat the food. I'm, I'm also not going to lie. The Axe smell wasn't that bad. Like, it, it just smelled like vanilla. Like, it was a very strong vanilla smell, but it wasn't that bad. Compared to their other stuff, but... That X smell was not bad. I think honest as opposed to autistic, I'd rather have someone tell just tell me straight up how much they're interested in something. But you need lore, the food was just a bonus. It's so true. I should have been like I've been forcing myself to like go out uh I probably would have never came to one of these things, and I usually don't. I don't remember if I even said that. I think I did. I don't really remember. Um, one of the things, though, was, like, when I left, like, when I was, like, oh, I was, like, thank- it was nice meeting you guys. Like, I appreciate you guys talking to me. And I was, like, you know, I got to head out because my friend's downstairs waiting for me. Um, one of the... Uh... The guy sitting across from me, this guy's name is Joe, and he's like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I was like, oh, it's okay, you don't, you don't need my Instagram, like, it's fine, don't worry about it. And he, like, looks at me, and he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, oh, you don't, like, I was like, I'll catch you around another time, like, at another event, if I see you, like, we can follow each other, it's fine. And, like, his friends, like, kind of, like, chimed in, they're like, well, like, I don't, why don't you want to give him your Instagram? And I was like, it's because, like, I don't want to pressure anyone into, like, getting my Instagram just because you met me, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like having that pressure is, like, lame. I don't want to, you know, force anyone to follow me. Like, I was like, follow me only if you liked, like, if you like me and you like the conversation we had, like, then for sure. But if not, it's fine. Like, no, like, no harm taken. Like, I, it's okay. It was nice meeting you, though. He ended up getting my Instagram, though. Nonetheless, he still asked for it. Might be easier to make friends. Um, true. This was the guy that I met, though. Oh. 
thanks for the the 10 euro I sound sexy because I sound six I'm sure if I'm sure people have seen this guy around Joe <laughs> nah, that's fire, dude. You guys don't get it. You just give people your email. Well, I the thing... Okay, look. Guys, you, you guys don't understand this. Like, when you go to these events, right, in, in any network platforming, like, situation in these events... People always ask for your Instagram just to like, it's like a, it's like just being nice. It's like a, a form of courtesy sort of thing. Like a lot of people do that. And I just don't like the thing is like, I don't feel comfortable where people do that in a, as a source of networking. Like I only want people to follow me or whatever, because they actually liked who I was as a person, not just because I'm, I guess in their eyes, important to follow. That's just kind of how it is in, in those, like, scenes. Like, it's always like that. And I always... It makes me really uncomfortable when, like, I don't like the people and they ask me, like, oh, what's your Instagram? Because the initial thought is, like, they're going to follow me back. And I don't do it. And I just would... I always prefer not to give my Instagram out. Like, oh, like, I just... I don't like doing that. And, like, to be honest, like, it... It's also a form of courtesy to just say like, oh, it's okay. You don't, you don't need to follow me. Like, it's fine. It was, it was nice enough to be in your presence and to chat with you rather than, yeah, let's exchange Instagrams. Like, I don't know. It's definitely a power move. Nah, I don't want your Instagram. Nah, you don't need my Instagram. It's all cool. I mean, I wasn't even thinking of it like that hard at all. I just, I just don't want to feel people, I don't want to make people feel pressured to give me their Instagram or ask for it. So what if they didn't like me? I don't know. I think it's like a normal thing. Uh, dude, just have a private and public one for networking, one for you. Or just delete my Instagram. I don't know, I just feel like it's a courtesy, like, to give someone an option, just to be like, oh, it's okay, like, you don't need to follow me, that's fine. I think having an option is always nice than not having one, I guess. I do have two Instagrams, that's a problem, like, I have my fashion elitist account, and then... Um, I have like my bigger account with all my reels on it. So, I mean, I just, there, I guess there's one there. I don't know. There, there's one for business, I guess, in a sense. And then there's one for personal and I, I just depends on what it is. So <sighs> JQ, a story about raises the la the social ladder and infiltrates the elites event. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just gave him an option. Like, I basically just gave him an option. Like, I felt, I just told him, like, no pressure to follow me or ask for my Instagram. It's okay if you don't want to. Just want to make sure you have the option. Because I, I don't want to pressure people into following me. <clears throat> uh, that's what Devas say. It means you must follow me. Joe, Joe's nice though. Joe was a nice guy. Like I talked to him for a bit, um, for a decent amount of time, like near the end. He's really nice. He was talking about, uh, how you went to fit and stuff. Uh, just talking about like what his future goals are for himself and stuff. De we're definitely on different fields in fashion, I guess. Like I talked about some like some com like some brands that I figured he knew and he also told about told me some brands I never knew about it's kind of it was kind of a nice interaction
I always hear people in fashion say they keep a pack of cigs on you even if you don't smoke because people at events will just ask and it's an easy convo slash networking. I mean, I've thought of that. Yeah, it is. I mean, and yeah, like a lot of the times people like ask like, oh, do you have a cigarette like or do you have a lighter or whatever? It's like a super easy way to like go and kind of make friends or connect. But I don't know, it, it feels too... It's not that natural because you're going in with the intent of I'm going to light up one and maybe have a conversation with someone. But yeah, I th I'm pretty sure people do that. You must seize the opportunity. Please, I'm not. Please. <laughs> smoking cigs is only cool if I see. <laughs> Dude, smoking cigarettes is not. I don't recommend anyone doing that. To be honest, it's not good for you. JQ, please tell Dagmon, Dargamon, to not pull out and actually a r sire offspring. What are you talking about, AR? What do you mean? Why, what's wrong with him? Yeah, the sick thing feels disingenuous. I mean, you don't actually smoke cigarettes, but... I mean, <laughs> I think it'd be a funny story to be like, yo, like, I just carry a pack of cigs, don't even smoke like that, but, like, that's how we became friends. I don't know, how would you... Would that feel weird to you if you knew that, like, let's just say you smoked, right? And you go up to, like, some guy that looks like he smokes, and you're like, hey, like, do you, do you happen to have, like, some cigarettes, like, or, like, a lighter or whatever? And they're like, yeah, yeah, like, do you want to go smoke? And you're like, yeah, for sure. And, like, you go outside and you go talk to them, like, they're cool people. And they're, like, fake smoking. And then, like, you become friends with them, and then, like, they, like, later tell you, like, I don't even smoke like that, I just did it because that's, like, a form of me to get friends, I guess. Would that make you feel weird? Or, like, would you not care, you know? Yeah, smoking's a bad habit. Welcome back, sweet choco milk. Nice to see you here. Ugh. <laughs> Weed. Jake is like Batman and AR is Joker. Yeah, AR is pretty crazy. <laughs> With a lie, even a small one. I would think it's kind of sad, I think, I mean, but I think like if someone did that to me, I would be a little, I think I would try and see it as like humorous, like kind of a funny, ha, uh, but like, I'd feel a little weird, but yeah, it's whatever. AR, I've asked this before, like, I don't, where did you come from, you know, that, that's the one question I've been having for a minute now, like, I kind of want to know where you came from, what video brought you here, like, I, I kind of need to know. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Yeah, I am playing music in the background. She probably can't hear it. Uh, he probably came from my hair video because he wants the same hair as I see. That's what I'm assuming. It's always the it's always the hair video. That's that's where most people came from. <laughs> Dude, like I hate sneezing. These sneeze, it's like I'm it's like allergy sneeze sneezes right now. I don't know. It feels so weird. <laughs> it's not a it's not a nice feeling, I'd say. Like at all. Bro, think com bro thinks complimenting is weird in society. Cooked. Dude, complimenting people in society is so weird. It's valid. Like... Dude, I, like, it's so hard for me to, like, if I see somebody off the street, you just want to be nice. You want to say, like, oh, you have, like, nice, you have a nice outfit. It's always so weird for me. I'm gay anyways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I think most of the time, like, if you think about it, like, socially, like, it's like, what does this guy want if he's complimenting me? But, like, if you just keep walking, like, I don't think anyone is going to think anything of it, right? That's what I would assume. Or what I'd hope to assume, right? <laughs> Does size matter? Size of what? AR, do you live in New York? Where do you live in New and like what what city place, what area do you live in? Does anyone in here live in New York actually? I lived in LA before I lived in New York. I had a chance to meet Jeremy Fragrance. AR, you do not live in me. You are a human being. I know you live somewhere else. You live somewhere. The question is where? What's up, not a criminal? The reason I didn't meet Jeremy was because I didn't I didn't end up getting the tickets to Set Explore and he was there, so that's the only reason. I put someone onto you. <laughs> Did I break my gatekeeping rules? No, we don't want to gatekeep my content. <laughs> that's what's keeping me alive. 
Don't gatekeep me. <laughs> I need not to be gatekept. AR, you're literally a real human. You're a human being, AR. One day I will meet AR. That's messed up, FN. Jeremy was born in your hometown? That's pretty interesting. But people would make fun of you if you watched me. Dude, imagine I get AR on stream. Alright guys, this is AR. I wonder what AR looks like. I mean, it's like watching any other YouTuber. What's the difference? Could do a Discord call with AR. What if AR says something crazy? I could do a I could do a Discord call with with AR. All right, if anyone wants to talk to me, I've done this before. Uh, join my Discord. Join the Discord. Join the voice chat, and I'll I'll move people in. That's the link. AR, you can join. <laughs> we can have a conversation. <laughs> All you gotta do is join um, NPC waiting room. <laughs> join NPC waiting room. And then I, I'll move you over. That's all you gotta do. All right, we don't have any guests yet. <laughs> calling NPC, calling people NPCs is kind of gay. I don't know. I mean, like, well, I had guests last time. Are right, we have we have our first guest here? Oh, okay, they left. <laughs> I was about to move them in. It's it's I'm I'm in a private a private chat. I'll just move you in. You just have to join NPC waiting room. All right. Okay. We have our. Oh, it's Eminem. Eminem. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking to people on my stream. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm streaming now, yeah. Oh, it's my bad. <laughs> You're- what- what do you mean? I didn't know you were streaming. I was just like, why is he in here by himself? Me? Yeah. You thought I was here alone? Nah. I'm not chilling, dude. I got- you, you can stay in here if you want to talk to these people. <laughs> you see they're joining down there. Someone said there's a girl in the Discord. There, yeah, there's a decent amount. Alright, I'm gonna move... You are the girl mod. Kate? That's true. Can you guys actually hear this? Like, my input? I'm actually... I don't know if I can hear. Oh, no one can hear? Wait, yeah, can you check the stream and see if you can hear this? Wait, I feel like they can, because they're saying there's a girl. Oh, why are you laughing?
they heard for a second. <laughs> no, there it can't be. Wait, no, 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 you can't be here. You're 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 crazy. You're crazy. I'm streaming, that's why. You can't be here, you'll say something crazy. <laughs> That, that was the first thing said. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep okay. it on the down low. Yeah, keep it keep it relaxed. Don't say anything crazy. I'm oh, moving I'm people right. from stream on my YouTube, yeah, that's what I'm streaming. I'm trying to listen to the stream to see if I can. No, they should you can be you should be able to hear everything now. You have to talk though, you know that, right? Okay, so what it is. You, you can hear, like, background sound. It just sounds like it's coming out of your headphone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's Dude, super la low. Last time, last time that I was doing this, well, they said they can hear you now, because it's capturing the, uh, on Discord. Oh, okay. It should be. Why is that scary for you? So weird. Okay. Um, talk? I just want to double check. What? Talk. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think they can hear you. All right. Let's see the, uh, the first person here. Okay. I think this. Hello. Hello. Okay, there we go. All right. Are you AR? Question mark. I'm not AR, but Damn. I am Supreme Dog Wolf. That is. Me. Oh, fire! <laughs> that, that is me. In. In, in the, the flesh. Virtual, in the flesh. In the virtual flesh. So. Dude, uh, what's I'll... up? What do you oh, want to say? I don't know. What's up, chat? Uh, AR, join. I want to hear you. What you I want to like. hear. I do want to hear AR. This this has been long overdue. <laughs> I don't want to hear your in your windows. I just want to hear how you are as a person. So. Someone said the only normal chatter. <laughs> are you black? Am I black? You are the only black. normal chatter. <laughs> I am not black. Uh, I am of melanin skin though. So you can take a pick of what that is. We need I need AR in here. I really Supreme. do want to hear what AR sounds. I I do too. I wanna I wanna know what AR is about. That's so sad. Do you have any oh, questions man. since you're here? Uh what is something that's on your mind right now? What have you been thinking about? Oh uh, shit, what have I been thinking about? Uh mundane shit i guess uh school can't really say anything oh i'm really you, popping you, out of my head right now what do you do in college do you go to college yeah i'm a community community college hopefully it's my last year and i could transfer to a, dude, come a state school so. dude community college has the most like the such a, an array of people that go to that college like go to the, like community colleges compared to like universities yeah it really does i i've been going there for like Let's see. This year is like my first time going in person. I first year it was like virtual, so I didn't interact with anybody. I didn't like that though. So this year it's just been full in person classes. And yeah, you're not lying. There's definitely an array of people, like moms and dads and shit. But you know, people yeah, are trying like to get their shit done. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, can I cuss? I just realized. No, you can no, curse. It's little... just. <laughs> no, no, don't Hextel, no. Yeah. Keep it friendly. Keep it family friendly, please. Yeah, family Mitch. friendly. I'll, I'll remember that. Oh, I gotta see the chat today. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know if I can get banned for um anything insane. I don't know if I can. I don't know if that's like a thing, you know. Yeah, it's true. Let's see. Too. I mean, like if enough people report you, I'm sure. I'd advise uh, against it. 
you would advise against reporting <laughs> reporting me or well, what do you mean? Uh, I kindly ask the audience to not report the stream and I kindly ask any guests uh, to the stream to be polite, be kind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really such, such, a, such a different Just side of that. you. <laughs> such a different side of you. He said, thank God that you guys didn't hear what I joined. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I saw that. No. That was a different man. <laughs> uh, boy, he did it. I have a question for you. What's up, man? Uh, what state school ideally would you go to after community college? State school? Uh, and why is it the University of Alabama? Roll Tide. I don't think Alabama is in North Carolina, sadly, so uh, oh, but that's, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Shame, brother. Yeah. Hey, man, I just got to get my education, you know? I got to do what I got to do. Hey, but keep grinding. Keep grinding. I know Alabama will go crazy, but I, I see what goes on there, so. I'm all assuming right. you go there, that is. I don't know. Mitch does not go there. Nope. He just got that fondness to it. Mitch mm. is a normal guy. Just a normal guy. He might be Bro, cooking your is... meals. Mitch, can you tell us one one thing about cooks? <laughs> um, I'll, sure. Um, in a in a graphic manner or in a, <laughs> in, a in a dudes that are hella chill and just hang out. Sorry for cussing. Uh, way. <laughs> Let's see. I'll, I'll go with the not so long. Okay, so uh, any I'll tell you this is a fun fact about any really high level restaurant, um, is that there is one hundred percent going to be a white chef. Like uh, it's always a CDP. It's always a CDP or um, it's always like a chef de party or a sous chef. Always a white guy who says the N word. No doubt about it. That's a that is like one hundred percent guaranteed going to happen uh, in any some, kitchen. Someone asked, do you, did you go to school for cooking? No, and if you're considering culinary school, it's fucking lame. Go work in a really good restaurant. Uh, bro, it. I watched The Bear, though. <laughs> oh, dude, yo, cousin. Cousin, I need your beef. <laughs> but I thought you hate, like... the, you hate The Bear, don't you? I do hate The Bear. You hate The Bear? Wow. Ooh. Why do you hate Cause it? Because he's, he's an actual cook. Oh, uh, I just missed misrepresentation i guess it is yeah it's stolen valor you know when i was on the teams brother oh man it, the only thing i could relate to restaurant wise was i was a, a busser boy so. oh dude that's so far that's such a chill job yeah bro for sure so you weren't wrong about the, the one white dude just just yeah and we're just like just slanging it mitch mitch, mitch, mandatory. Look, mitch look at the look at chat fn's oh, asking yeah. a question I'm not. I'm not replying to that sloth. That's that's a gay question. Sorry to the what, community. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Babish. What does Babish mean? Uh, it's is a cooking like a... YouTuber. Binging with Babish. Oh, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen he makes videos. cooking YouTube videos. I think they're kind of lame, but I see why they're appealing to the masses. As part of the masses, they are appealing. So yeah, they're chill. I feel like that guy, you know, conceptually, he gets it. Yeah. Who is that? Who's so. this moderator? I don't know this guy. JQ, you didn't run this one by me. <laughs> hey, FN's the guy. FN is the guy. I mean, is FN in chat? Do you want to... If FN, are you in the Discord chat? We'll, Get him in I'll here. move you over. Yeah, FN, join. I want to hear what you sound like. Adam Ragus is chill. That dude's super fucking Italian, so I fuck with him. Uh, Dante, He's, I have made cooking Elijah videos said before. He, yeah, you did. You have. I will. I will unprivate the cooking videos on my YouTube which channel. Which one are you, FN? Are you this one? I are you which one of your cooking videos? Actually, thank you. All praises. <laughs> are you not a criminal, or are you the other guy, FN? Where is FN? Oh, he can't join. He said. Oh. It's an NPC waiting room. You just joined that. Oh, they said link the channel. Link it. Throw it up uh, there. I just, I just, I just commented in chat. I'm a uh, young, young Nextel, you know. No, I'm not FN. 
Oh, it's the same dude. Dude, I'm so sad AR just left. He just stopped commenting. I wanted uh, to see AR come in. Oh, he doesn't have a mic. You can't use your phone? FM? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm being lied to right now, AR. Yeah, this is... So I want to join, but my everybody... English is not the best. Oh, who said that? FM? No, uh... Dorian. Oh. Said Crazy. I don't even have Discord on my phone. Crazy how, how far we're willing to do push this this lie. Someone said, can Chef say the N-word? Uh, I'm not answering that question. All right, uh, Supreme Dog Bowl. We're going to give another person a shot. All right, man. It was good. It was, I appreciate really meeting you. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep chatting. That's, yeah, bro, this is one of the best, one of the best guys in, in, in chat that's in there often. Great Aren't guy. I love the guy. <laughs> the most normal guy. Most normal guy. One Hello. night kiss. Hi. So, speak your existence. Who are you? What do you do? I'm AR. You're I'm AR? Oh, I was <laughs> going to say, I was going to say, what? All right, I figured it out. Hello, Kay. I'm waiting for <laughs> AR. I'm We've excited. all been waiting for AR, but AR left, so I don't think he's going to be joining us anytime soon. AR, if you're still watching the stream, you pussy. I don't think... I think you'll get instantly demonetized if you add him into the call, dude. What do you mean? I th somehow he'll get your account deleted if he says anything. I don't think so. Blonde I don't know, woman. man. You're putting a lot of faith in... Oh, if you were here earlier, maybe AR would have joined, because you are the blonde one. The blonde one. <laughs> it's me. Well, probably better that he didn't, though, because that's, that's the bigger fear, bro. If he's, like, unmonitored saying crazy stuff over over your YouTube, like, I don't know. Well, he says crazy stuff in chat. That's the thing. I that's don't see thing. it. I never see it. <laughs> you can base it off of, like, one interaction. I, I mean, I think AR should join for the culture. Like, I think that's kind of one of the things that I wish. Uh... Yes, please. Please, said, please. Slot said, ask girl if she'll date AR. No, I'm good. Why not? Is it he like an actual incel? That's so tight. That's actually so sick. Good for him. Have you never have you never heard him talk, Mitch? No, I've never. I don't know who this is. I don't know. Oh, who you've never been is. in chat before. Yeah. Put me on. Uh, we, got, we got real incels in here. No, no more of this. So, wait, wait, wait. AR is back. He said the blonde one is here. <laughs> <laughs> Baby oven blonde. Davy Oven. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? FN said most incels are actually cute, really yeah. cute IRL. Dude, if you're if you're an incel on the fashion NPC server, you're a fake cell. Because there's women in this server. <laughs> not even a real incel. I don't count, bro. I don't count. I'm not. I'm not in the server. You're a fake cell, bro. I hate to break it to you. We need AR in here. <laughs> So the blonde one is done with the extra credit with her professor? <laughs> no, my school's actually on strike right now, so no extra credit sessions for me. <laughs> Sweet Choco Milk said, in my defense, I'm an ex-fem cell. Based. Ah, so, yeah, I mean, I've been there too. You're still there. What do you mean, been there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm still there. <laughs> No, you're a fake cell. There's there's no such thing as fem cells. Well, Women have it too easy, bro. I mean, I yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Thank you for the recognition, AR. The guy I live who with says a, fake I live with cell. a woman, but I appreciate that you you know that you know you talk the talk, bro. That's pretty interesting that he could he could sniff you out, Mitch. Oh, uh, dude, I'm a real I'm a I'm a real incel, bro. The guy who says fake cell is a true cell. Here, he understands the terminology. I'm an R9K warrior. AR, we need we need this to. I mean, you could just join the chat just for a minute, you know, and just. Could just be AR, I feel you. like you and I would get along really well. We could probably pitch each other some radical ideas, brother. <laughs> now I is, want him to join too. <laughs> on, is brother. this AR? Are get you AR? VC. Are you AR, Kali? 
Coley. Speak up now, brother. Come on now. <laughs> Yo. Are you AR? No. Damn it. I just I pressed the button. What do you mean you just press the button to join VC? Look, Kali, we greatly appreciate your um, dedication to I, being I a JQ fan and, and joining like, the stream. But we're looking for one. Oh, guy. I don't think he's in. I don't think they're in stream. I think they're just they just joined uh, the call because they're. I'm streaming. Um, I'm a radio host for a minute. We're trying to get AR to join, but yeah, yeah, I'll hop out. Like, it's all good. No, you're fine. No, you're, you're fine, fine, brother. <laughs> We we you greatly appreciate your uh, continued support of the voice chat in the server. Not many You're people stupid. do it. Kali, could you do me one one favor and go and talk to the My other connection's people? also fucked, so That's I mean, we can hear you loud and clear. It's fine. Um okay. Yeah. They're saying stop edging and are stop you dog edging. killed? Brother, <clears throat> once it gets to a certain point, you did stop edging and you started doing. All right, I'm going to bring Not a Criminal in here. <sighs> Welcome to the voice chat, Not a Criminal 1. Hey. Hey, JQ. Are you AR? Am I AR? No, I'm not AR. All right, no. next question. Are you an incel? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. That's lame. Uh, sorry to tell you. Hey, it's all right, brother. AR says it ruins the mystique. That's why you can't join. Oh, that guy's that guy's real mysterious. Do you like yeah. AR? Who me? Yeah, you. I neutral. I've, I, this is I've never like talked to him before. Have you not seen him in chat before? Uh, no, not really. I don't really pay attention to chat. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you just listen to me like uh, like I'm a like? A podcast basically and you just put yeah. me in the background yeah um, uh, you had you on in the gym while i was working out and no then way. you said and then we were like talking like join the call so you know i said why not i got a question what were you yeah. doing today um That's a, great question. a little bit of back a little bit of arms kind of gay should only do arms no Neck, wait what you gotta do only legs arms. only ever train arms. Legs. Don't oh, yeah, train legs I'm, just I'm a lot of advice this, oh yeah, yeah I, I do do a lot of running. Make sure you Thanks. do legs. Make sure you work out calves. You want to look. You want the oh. scaling to look good. Yeah, you don't. Hey, you don't want to be a calf knot. All right. Uh, yeah, calves and I calf knots in this world. Calv I do knots. need bigger calves. I'm gonna start working on my calves more. Dude, so there's this a uh, super fucking swole Asian dude that goes to my gym, and mm -hmm. well, he's not swole. He's shredded. I think he's. I think he's hitting a stack because it's so fucking weird how shredded he is. Um. Um, it's always those small Asian dudes. No one ever yeah, it dude, like, he only like trains calves. I've only, I've never seen him pick up a fucking weight. He literally only does calves. So I think he's hitting a stack. Probably. Uh, also, Dude. sloth. That's a lame gay take. But what did push sloth pull say? legs best split? He said push pull legs. Nah. Push pull legs. Okay. That's yeah. I would never. I I wouldn't do that. But to each their own. If you're not in the gym five days a week, Elijah what, Ken, I don't like the way you're talking in this fucking chat right now, pussy. Come and be here. <laughs> what are you saying? Live argument. I was saying, I was saying <laughs> that it was it was peculiar that there was a shredded Asian dude who I've only ever seen train calves. That's it. I think you would find it a little peculiar too if you only saw a dude train calves, but his entire body was shredded. I would find it. That would be suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I would have some questions. I definitely would have some questions. Um, you ever, you've only seen this man train calves, like... Yeah, it's weird. Can you, like, also, ask him for, like, like, a selfie or something? Yeah, I'll, get, I'll get a picture with, with him, bro. I'll just pretend I, like, I know who he is. Okay. Yeah, no, I think that's all we need. Dorian, Dorian, get this fucking VC, pussy. Well, what is what is Dorian? What what is his? Uh, is it Shaco, Shaco, or uh, Nerod? Uh, <laughs> Do you work? Elijah Kang. I'm not Italian. Oh my gosh! So many people join. Sloth. I work out in the gym. 
New rule, no joining VC unless you deadlift 225 for reps. All right. That's not that hard. I know, but a lot of people can't do it. Get them in here. All right. Thank you, Not a Criminal, uh, for joining. Um, Stay cute, Thanks, bro. Awesome. All right. So let's. What Dorian. Do you have to say? Yo. <laughs> Mitch is my co host. Hello. Okay, you're the third host. I'm, I'm kind of just listening right now. I'm, a, I'm JQ's legal advisor. So. Okay. Nice to meet you. Uh, pleasure to meet you as well. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. Oh, hell um, yeah. The French speaking part of Belgium. Ah, so comment allez-vous, mon jeu? Because I don't think I, I can speak English really well. But... C'est bon. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. En français, s'il vous plaît. Just. <laughs> Bonjour. Je suis en train de parler français. Je ne sais pas wow. si c'est beau. You Beautiful. can speak French, Mitch? Oui. J'ai parlé français depuis 4 ans. It's, it's actually not bad. Wait, you're, you're actually surprising me right now. With. with <laughs> Dude, well, I, I guess you work this, in a kitchen, right? I used to do this bit um, in my last job where anytime they hired a new front of house person and they had them in the kitchen, I'd go, just so you know, on Fridays we do dinner service in French, and I'd start yelling in French at the rest of the kitchen staff. And it would freak people out because nobody here speaks French. It's a good bit. Yeah. And then they call it HR, so. French is kind of throwing the stream off, not going to lie. What kind of, what kind of food do you cook? Uh, I cook uh, gay white people food, so. So um, what's like, what, like avocado toast and stuff? No, that's no, that's. Mm, I think that's like no. that's K dinner. That's girl. That dinner. is K dinner. Girl <laughs> breakfast. So you're that thinking like girl, girl dinner white people food? I operate in like the, you know, upper level of like fucking lame honkies out for a business dinner, like mm. tasting menu <laughs> kind of restaurant. Like a tapa situation? Sure, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Ghost Hardware, get in this voice chat and fucking argue with me, pussy. Oh my gosh. Say I'm not a true cell. Of course I'm not a true cell. I live with a woman. Who is this woman <laughs> to you, though? The his old girlfriend. ball and chain. You know? Oh. <laughs> <It's his girlfriend. laughs> no, no girl wants to be described any way but that. She knows her place. Someone said, <laughs> ask the other guy if he is Lord. He'll get it. I don't even know what that means. He, I think, I don't know. The VC guy sounds like an Alpha M. <laughs> <laughs> Based, that's because I am. <laughs> I'm literally Alpha M. Take meds and she'll disappear, bro. Later, Tank. Are you, you talking about my base trad wife who wears cotton smocks and sits around barefoot in my house? That's you know, awesome. Elijah, Elijah King said... Uh, Dude, that's all I hope to be yeah. when I grow up. <laughs> Based. Elijah King's talking all this shit. Yes, my intimidating demeanor is actually a cover for my insecurities. AR, you should just join VC and like explain to us like what that means. I feel like yeah. we'd have a better idea of... Uh... Yeah, I want to get to know you. I feel like we could we could connect. I really want to hear. Uh, yeah, I think I think most. Well, we of got Chad a motherfucker to... tapped in from Europe just to hear you, brother. Right? <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is very true. true. I just came from Europe to to hear the voice, seductive voice. <laughs> you guys are scaring him <laughs> off. We're not making it a comfortable environment for the man to join. Yeah, AR, we even got it. We got a fem cell in here for you. you Wait, know, what, you if AR, what if AR? What if AR was never I'll a man? Be I'll be the bait. I'll be the bait. You guys can can dangle me. What if AR was never a man, but like just a woman all along? Maybe both. Maybe, maybe he was he or she is a fem cell. Let's hey, let's keep it. Let's let's stop using gendered language to describe AR, please. They sell? Maybe they sell? They sell? <laughs> AR doesn't want to lose his con 
the true cell status by taking talking to a femoid. <laughs> Who says I'm a girl though? True. Maybe I'm. Maybe this is like a voice, you know, AI situation. Well, they know who you are, blonde one. <laughs> They gotta go, like, incognito or something. Unless the red one joins, possibly. Red one is too busy. Yeah, she's always... Yeah, she is too busy. Great. <laughs> Great analysis. Alright, I Thanks. think... I think what we're gonna do now is... Kay, do you want to answer fashion questions in this... Oh, this, sure. ...this chat? I know you love. Yeah, doing I'm, that. I'm deep. I'm deep cleaning my house right now, so sure. Waterboarding instructor, but, Mr. But Mitch. I don't. I just can't see the comments, so you have to say it because I'm not on my phone. Well, no, no. We're we'll drag people into uh, into into the call so they can ask a question. Okay, That's what I was sure. planning on doing until uh, all this happened. Yeah. Until Mitch joined and talked hey, about don't cooking. Throw me under the bus. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> How do you feel about <coughs> hooks? All right. Um, anyone that joins can ask a question. Is a girl good at fashion? No, it's just you and me, Najee. Well, no, it's Mitch is here. I'm oh. always here. Mitch, oh, oh, Mitch oh, is oh. here. Just he might want to put some input, maybe. Oh. That I is like K. It is K. You hate fashion. You've talked about this before. What do you mean? If I hated fashion, I wouldn't have sold my tabbies earlier this week. <laughs> so do you think that owning, selling your tabbies means you are you like fashion? You should sell no. your tabbies to me. Too late. They already sold and USPS delayed the shipping. So, <laughs> How much do you sell them for? Uh, stupid low. I just wanted, I basically cleared out my closets. The only thing I didn't sell was my SLP denim and my ERD. Um, I'm holding my, I actually, I did sell a decent amount of my ERD, but um, I'm holding my SLP denim for like one of my friends. But I don't even have that much of that stuff anymore. How much do I you like, smell? How much do you smell? <laughs> how much uh, do you sell your, good. no, how do you, how much did you sell the tabbies for? Like what, what was the price? Dude, I, I sold those for two twenty five. No Whoa. way. What? Wait, what yeah. size were they? Forty two. I could have made so much more money. I just don't care. Why didn't you? You could have sold them to me, and I could have given them to my. You my were size forty two. No, I'm a. 44. God, you're so fucking. Sh dude. I'm a forty four. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say your feet are so small for that. No, isn't a forty two size nine? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm a. I'm a size forty four, but my roommate George is a forty two. That would have fit him. It's like five eight. That's tight. I don't know. I um, I sold those and I sold my uh, wax canvas for moans for like stupid low. I sold my ERDTs for like super low too, but I didn't pay full price for those, so I don't really care. I got a <laughs> based. That's crazy! I can't believe you sold them for that cheap. Like, I don't know. I bought most of it. Um from the root like i bought the tabbies and shit and oh i still lived in texas so they've kind of just been sitting in my closet for the last two years i haven't worn them mm. so okay it's, uh... we're gonna we're gonna strap in we're gonna bring one person in they can ask one question and then we can converse with the council here of members of the board of mitch k and me so i'll bring in the first person here which is kali you can ask your question and then um, I'll move you back, and we'll talk. We'll talk about it. All right, Kali, go off, Kali. Okay, cool, Kali. Awesome. Wait, I was, about to move, I was about to move you. I was about to move you. I'm sorry. I don't use Discord. Okay, I'm a normie. You're I was fine. muted, but I'm here now. Um, so what? So okay. what? What is your question? speak it into existence um i guess this is kind of a broad question and it's a little bit i guess like deep but stupid but not really um i feel like capitalism 
it incentivizes a lot of um, just objectively oh dog shit fashion. Capital? Listen, listen. Capitalism, like just in general. Oh, capital. Okay, sure. Um, I, th- I thought you said how capital, do you think... like the brand. <laughs> I don't know. What that is. Oh, Kappa? No. No. Um, what do you think like fashion would look like under communism? Okay, thank uh, you for the question. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't think there would be much fashion under communism because we'd all probably be working. So, <laughs> well, there is like I, I'm I'm blanking on the specific designer, but there was um, like a movement in the USSR, right? Like in the '60s, that like mm. they they made these these. Um, God, I'm really being challenged right now to remember, but. They made these suits, and in theory, they had paired it with, like, a big novel. And in theory, they wanted, like, both men and women to wear um, these suits. They basically look like boiler suits, but it was, like, really early stage of that. But I would in imagine Russia, it right? some form of... Yeah, in the USSR. No, in the USSR. Totally different. It's not totally different. It's totally... Get out of here. Oh no! Skedaddle, all of them. Wait, I'm stream. No, we're having a discussion about this fashion stuff. So, well, I think that um, outside of our, you know, government mandated toil maxing, um, I think that there was probably not a lot of incentive to uh, be involved with fashion under a, you know, in a communist world. But also, I don't think that uh, you know we would ever get that far because. Well. Hmm. From what I know, uh, from my like my grandparents used to tell me that they had this thing. Everybody would have exactly same furniture, so they Based. would not have mm. envy or any kind of desire to be better and like create some kind of conflict. Like they would be their houses were clones of each other. That's so autistic. So, I fuck with it heavily. So I just pulled up my um. I actually took a course at my school about uh, communism and political views and how they show in fashion design. I just pulled up my my notes, my notes from Google Docs. To answer our, our little question, the garment that I was talking about was called the Tahyat, Um And it was a collaboration piece that an artist made basically like in, you know, the 50s, like when, when a bunch of artists were being forced to change careers because there's not a lot of space for, for art in under like communism. So a lot of artists would thus put their design work into designing like work, workwear with the pairing with the government. So a super famous designer ended up making these, these workwear garments. Um, and it actually somehow broke out, um, constructivism, which was like very different from the politics of the time. And, it, it was kind of like a subgroup of the communist revolution. And um, like after the revolution, the idea that art needed to die in order to be one with communism. Instead, you were an artist that needed to make yourself like useful in other ways. And like, I mean, I think that gives us a little idea into what it would look like if it happened now. Would you say it would be like almost a form of death to art? <laughs> Or well, do you think I mean, be... I, hmm. I, I think, you know, even even in the like communist revolution and stuff like when we, you know, obviously art is a form of expression that, that differentiates us from each other and from like the norm, which is not really what, you know, a communist state would be looking for as a bunch of individualistic people. I think that the government can always limit creativity and try to do so. But people who are inherently want to create are going to create. And like, you know, even in this situation, although it was being scapegoated of like, you know, these artists were either going to be killed, uh, moved or they had to change careers. They were still finding a way to be creative within that. Or even in like Mm -hmm. because obviously nobody was wearing just uniforms like a fucking sci fi movie. But there was like really strict regulations like like you see in like controlling states like North Korea um, but, but even within that, these artists and designers who were used to make like in really insane, beautiful garments who are now being limited within the boxes of what is OK by the state, you still see small, minute 
Oh my god, take it to a publisher. <laughs> so I don't think that I don't think that it would kill art, but I do think that like obviously sanctions and stuff can happen and that can Oh make yeah, people... yeah. They had like yeah. lots of filters. Most of yeah, the art yeah. must be in some way uh, worshipping Stalin or the leader yeah. of USSR. And if that was not the way, they would be sent to Siberia or something. And uh, that if, if they found out, obviously. Other than that, they were just like hiding their like paintings and so stuff. So if you had drip, houses. you had to keep it low key. Yeah. It's tight. Yeah. Well, some slight. Someone said, but do we really need more mid IG brands? Less R equals better. Yes, we do. Well, I think like there's more of a restriction, but I mean. I think in the nature now with like capitalism in full rise and all these kids think they can make a lot of money, we get a lot of shit product and that's why we see a consistent rise of these shitty IG brands because they know they can sell it. So it's like lack of creativity, but it sells. But there's still people that are making like unique stuff. It's just very little. I think it's drowned out by the, the consistent consumption cycle of like the shitty like <laughs> streetwear brands we see constantly being shoved on like TikTok shop. Instagram reels, YouTube yeah, shorts. I would also I would argue that's like a get rich scheme though. It is you a get make, rich scheme. You want to make a bunch of money, you just fucking sell like stupid Hoodie, puff shirt. print t-shirts and <laughs> yeah. fucking moronic fifteen year olds on the TikTok shop. It's like really a hustler. Stupid. It's a yeah, hustler yeah, mentality. But if, if you yeah. actually care about you know being a designer, you obviously everyone starts somewhere. I know a lot of people in the quote unquote streetwear scene started like that. Um, and now they're actually kind of moving into making their own like clothes as opposed to like fucking nonsensical like i'm just gonna put words on a t-shirt and shit which is you know arguably pretty based but at the same time like i think that i also have i think that a lot of those brands get weeded out over time like you know we'll say capitalism breeds innovation bro i, I don't think that shit's nearly true or necessarily true, but like yeah. I think a lot of those brands just end up getting fucking mogged and fade into obscurity pretty fast because they don't do anything cool. I just think the I mean I mean you're right, but like at the same time, like a lot of people will follow that format, which is what everyone's doing now. I mean like way yeah. back when, before like TikTok and stuff, like you would see less there was like less of it, but now For it's sure. like so much more just because of media and that like consistent like being able to push. Like, a lot yeah. of people realize they don't need to climb the ladder anymore of, like, needing to network and stuff. You can just post your shitty brand on, like, TikTok. Hopefully get, like, enough views at one point and then make a crap ton of money. But I think, like, I think this generation specifically is very lazy. And, like, the reason why there is, like, no innovation with pushing outwards is because if, if the scheme works for them to make more money, they continue just to do the same thing over again with slight improvement. But that's pretty yeah. much it. That's what I've seen mostly uh, from, dude, like, those there's brands. Like some like person on youtube that's like somewhere between our age like around our age group and he literally is like made this fucking like vlog series like how my brand made me fucking 20 million dollars oh i've you. seen i've seen it yeah. yes I know you, you're know, you know what about. i'm talking yeah. about right yes yeah. yeah um but i don't know man but it like pushes that, like seeing i mean imagine dream, being bro. yeah it is but like imagine a like Someone young, right? That's like, I don't want to do college. Like, I want to try and be business. Because, like, I think it comes down from the point or the aspect of, like, business mentality versus, like, actually design culture. And it's just, like, I'm going to hustle my way into making a brand. And, like, you have to... I feel like you have to be born or, like, actually have a passion to, to be a designer. You can't just be a businessman. Like, I could... I'm a businessman, like... I think about, like, selling shit all the time, like, and if I really wanted to, by no means I'm no designer, but, like, I could just print stuff on a hoodie or a shirt and then call it a day and make money, but then, like, it just feels so soulless. Yeah. Businessman. Businessman mindset. Yeah, bro. You know, they always go, JQ, why don't we see you at the clubs? And it's really because you're at home, you know, hustling. So true. <laughs> hustling. Stacking bread. All right. Next question. Um, hello? Display name. Now you pussy, man. Right. No. What's up? Hello. 
ask your question to the council of, of right. two, three. Shorts and boots, yes or no? Wait, what? Can I, you think that's something that can be pulled off, like big chunky leather boots with like maybe like jorts or something? Well, as a long-term right. uh, Reno 911 fan, um, I can tell you that Dangle pulled it off pretty well, so I see nothing <laughs> stopping that from happening. Shorts and boots? Here. This was yeah, a question? Dude. Yeah. Okay, what are your thoughts? Uh, about shorts and boots. I like how we went from in a capitalistic society if we went back to <laughs> shorts and boots. Shorts and boots, do they work together? Uh, I think it, no, not really. Shorts like, and boots? Could, shorts and boots, I feel like could get really, like when I think of shorts and boots, I think of cowboy boots and like men in super no. short jean shorts. Think, think like, so did hot, you, he said leather boots. He, did, he didn't say cowboy boots. Leather boots and like shorts on a man or a woman? Well, let's, I let's think not general, use such gendered language. Let's I use masculine right, right. feminine why, why presenting see... people. For starters, <laughs> don't make me be the PC for this. Um, right, right. But I think and people who, you know, present in a feminist, you know, feminine, uh, you know, <laughs> women who present, um, fucking, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, you know, bitch has been wearing shorts with boots for a hot minute. Um, yes. Which is chill. But I think that's a whole untapped market for dudes. Mm. See, if you get yourself a pair of like, you know, size 46, like waist jorts, <laughs> and they go way past your knees, I feel like, you know, you're kind of, kind of encroaching on, you know, Janko territory with those. Mm. You can definitely pull some boots off with that. You gotta play your cards right. Dude, it's all about the scaling of the clothing, right? Bro, the proportions, bro? No, 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 no. No, no, no. What did you say? Dude, whenever I hear that word, it uh, triggers my fly or flight. Like, and, like jump if out of my window. If you think shorts on men looks goofy, you, you have baby quads. True, I agree. Like, if you have, like, fat thighs, like, good, good sized quads on you, you throw on some, like, boots, that's fire. I think the shorts can't, like, they have to be, like, slightly above the knee. Or a little bit of <clears throat> five-inch shorts, the inseams. Five inch Show off the quads. Bro. Proportions? A little thigh tap? Show some stuff. <laughs> a, little, a, l- a little quad reveal, possibly. I mean, that, I feel like that always looks good. I wore shorts that one time with, like, my some monkey boots, and I felt right. pretty okay. But I do have bigger thighs. Um, mm. you've seen me wear shorts with boots, Kay. I've worn them one yes, time. Yes, I, I, I have. They weren't that bad. It wasn't that bad. No, it's no, the no, summer. No, no. I, I think my brain just went to a scary place, like a very cowboy scary boots. Hit. Like cowboy boots and like men and and ripped. I think you're jeans thinking shorts. Soho, Soho, New York girl. Like that's what you're probably thinking of. Well, that's what I see, bro. That's what I see on a daily. That's true. So. You know. You're thinking of like a Bushwick person, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Emphasis See. on the, the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mustache. You know, them, them real rednecks, they don't play about that shit. It's a pair of jorts mm. and some snake boots. That's I it. See, I see, I see. That's what you're also thinking. I mean, there's a, there's a fine line mm. in between those two. Someone in chat was... said they're 5'3. I would just like to point that out. Dante it's is 5'3. It's over. <laughs> Have you tried height maxing, bro? Our next question from Shaco, possibly. <laughs> if you want to ask a question, join the Discord and then join yeah. NPC rating, waiting room. Uh, what's oh. your question, Shaco? Hey, hello? Hello. Uh, hello. Question. Uh, I guess maybe I've been hunting for like a new fragrance, maybe. And mm. uh, I smell by the fireplace by Mason Magella and I thought that was pretty nice. So maybe something similar to that. Okay, this is your expertise in terms of fragrances. Yes, sir, uh, you know a lot you more want than I do. If you want something that smells like by the fireplace but more interesting, I would say look up On the Road by Timothy Hahn. Um, it's not that expensive. The performance is like way better and or imaginary smells, authors. 
You could go for yeah. You could go for Was imaginary it? authors. What's that one fragrance from them? It's like Firehouse. The you know which one I'm I talking think about? It's with, uh, library on Fire. Or something. Yes, that one. Like, something like that. Yeah, you Pretty could go strong, for that too. Pretty strong though. <laughs> Here I have I have the sample kit that you gave me actually. Let's let's smell it. Oh, I gave it to you. I was talking to chat yet the the other time I streamed. I was like thinking you, about what happened. You you remember when my keys weren't working and I didn't Oh, a city on back. fire. Yeah, city on fire. Yeah, that, so, that's city a on very fire is a little Okay, so whoever asked that question, I'm smelling it right now. City on fire is a little bit sweeter. So if you it really like like the amber and like the little bit of tonka that's in by the fireplace, get city on fire. But if you really like the masculine, like, kind of, well, I have by the fireplace here, too. So I'm really about to do a whole comparison for you for my collection. Yeah, but the dry down on City on Fire is pretty nice mm. compared to, uh, Okay, personally. yeah. By the fireplace is pretty sweet. Like, I feel like you get that smokiness and you also get the sweetness, like, vanilla-y. So go for City on Fire if you want an elevated, more, I mean, by the fireplace is a new to toilet, so it's not going to last if you want something. But I've been really into On the Road by Timothy Hahn recently. I've been wearing it, like, a bunch. The projection is beautiful. The dry down is beautiful. It still has a little bit of sweetness that you can get from smokiness. Inexcusable but evils question. I personally also fuck with, uh, like, uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary oh, Authors. So yeah, that's a good That's smell. a banger. That is a good yeah. smell. That's uh, kind of got the woody vanilla smoky little little calm little vibe there that's a, that one that's has a cantaloupe in it and just unique guys can't wear a cantaloupe sense didn't say that now it's kind of what i heard i heard that too as well <laughs> shut up no i'm just saying it's unique it's interesting <laughs> Yeah, I have this whole travel kit here with all the different smells from them. All right, next question. Hello? Hello? Are you, are you the four inch difference? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, okay, cool. I want to know, JQ, my answer. My question is like, do you know indie tech? <laughs> what did he say? Do you know <laughs> indie tech? Wait, wait, what? What? Indie tech. Indie tech? Yeah. W what is it? like? A... It's like the company that made Sara, Bershka, Hundir, Massimo Dutti. Bershka? I'm, uh, I'm looking at their website right now. <laughs> are you yeah. i don't know if you know this but indie text is like a a giant spanish a giant company in spain uh -huh. that is the head of Sara stradivarius massimo duty bershka Pumbir, oisho and, and other brands. Zara. okay yeah it's like the biggest monster in like fast fashion oh pull and bear oh and they're a manufacturer for them it kind of so they're the is, owner of so they're the owner of uh, oh of yeah, these companies zara polar bear Bershka. Yeah, the owner. so they they're like the parent company to all those companies yeah, yeah. it will be insert interesting a video of, of inditex because where i live there's only like pull and beer is the only store where i live mm -hmm. and it's crazy the amount of people wearing pull and beer the npc where are you well, yeah, from? I mean, yeah, I'm where from, are you? it's like a city down. It's in Mexico. It's like between Mexico and Phoenix, Tucson. Mm. Mm. Dude, I I looked it up and like they have a uh, they have an overview of their like sustainability and it says. <laughs> Inditex says, began, <laughs> began with an ambition to make fashionable quality and life enhancing clothes for people at the right price. Many of the social, economic, and environmental changes we all face are now more urgent than ever. Mm, we don't like, do things by halves. This is a challenge that we're all in together. Yeah, we, we, we have to make like 
a group to destroy Inditex and beat fast fashion. They say our no. main goals. Oh, for real? We 100% yeah, yeah. free. No, right. They don't do like, any of this. I don't see anyone in the US talking about that, but it's inter interesting, you know? All right, so like, question. What's your plan to take them down, brother? To blow like, up the company. I like guns. I like guns. <laughs> <laughs> right, what do you think, brother? <laughs> Right. I like guns. No, I I don't know. I, I, we kinda make like money maxing and make a company that makes clothes system of like I don't know uh, sustainable things. You know, dude, that's ridiculous. I just read like I read their sustainability and like it sound like if you were just skimming through it, you'd be like, oh, they're like gonna do things, but it's like these are commitments that they haven't fulfilled yet. These are just ideas that they're just posting on their thing. Like, it's ridiculous. So huge for them. Yeah, I kind of compare <coughs> Inditex to the Nazis, you know? They're kind of, like, the same. <coughs> I mean, honestly, but... like, it's, like, I mean, any, I mean, how can you, Zara turns out so many styles and stuff. Like, I don't know how you can be sustainable. <coughs> yeah, the quality They want to use organic shit. Cons, so. really shit, the quality, the quality. From where I buy... I would like some teams of pulling beer because it's the only fucking store where I live and it's kinda sad. Because it's like um monopoly is the word. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And it's like a whole city just wears one brand. I mean it's just because it's what's available to them and I think for the most part yeah. like a lot of people don't care to like try and look or care enough to try and find other things. So they yeah. end up just got going and, you know, purchasing what what's available to them, you know, what's easy. Yeah, like, it's the only thing, like, I have seen people wearing, like, H&M, but it's kind of rare, you know? I mean, again, like, what's, what's easily accessible, but, uh... <clears throat> was that a question? What was the question? Do I like, know about them? Uh, well, no, I yeah, know. I think the question was, uh, do you want to start a small militia and take them down, to which we are going to politely decline. Um, but if you have any questions about that, please yeah, don't be I... shy and send me a DM. I have all sorts of funding for that. Um, so <laughs> yeah, we'll like, get that yeah, right do, away, brother. Do you know, do you know Che Guevara? Nope. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's the point, like... You should know of you should know of Inditex and why it's like the most So you're the putting it on cancer. our radar. Yeah, put yeah. it on the radar. Yeah, that. Right on. We have to make like money maxim. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's okay, dude. We'll get the CIA to fund it. Someone yeah. said shake your booty. I thought that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> Be honest. I mean, if that's if that's how we make money to stop them from being unsustainable, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to beat fast fashion, you got to beat Inditex, you know. Tight. Okay. <clears throat> thank you for the... Write, uh, write that down, for... JQ. Write it down. Uh, we're not going to take over a big company. There's no way we could do anything about that. That's just... You know, they'll probably come and blow up my house before I could actually do anything about it. I'll get it back in blood. Uh, you could we'll get back it. to you on that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So I That's have never happening. no plans of taking over a uh, small Mexico-based company, or sorry, large Mexico-based company from what I imagine. And also, um, I think that dude, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what he wants us to do. Just, we're just aware of it now, that's all. Yeah, I'll, <clears throat> I'll pass it up. I'll pass it up the chain. Yeah, you have to. All right. <laughs> I'll get it handled. <laughs> Let's get the next question going. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? Uh, Pasta. Awesome. All right, great. Awesome question. Let's uh, move it on. Not, Not criminal, criminal again. One. Any questions? Well. Well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So here's my question. I received a package today. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's either trench coat, pants, pipe bomber, or anthrax. Uh, so go ahead and guess. It's a trench coat. But what's the question? Yeah. 
<laughs> is this a question? Bro, you're not cool enough to get fucking pipe bombs or anthrax in the mail. Let's be real. I'm gonna open it. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Bro's trying to be AR. <laughs> What if this is actually? What if not a criminal is actually AR, but he's not saying he's right. AR? Okay, I got it. It's a it's a trench coat. That was right what on the money. What a fucking loser! <laughs> All right, well, JQ got it right. Um, JQ wins nothing. What's the what's the do you have a question? No, that was a question. Oh he my gosh, out. he's out. He's out. All these false question askers, bro. First, they come and ask me if I'm willing to <clears throat> put my citizenship on the line. That was an amazing question. It's all right. Oh, man. JQ, are you wearing a promise ring around your neck? So it kind of uh -oh. looks like, bro. This? Are you saving yourself for somebody? Definitely. <clears throat> this is actually a glasses <laughs> holder. I put my glasses in it. You're such a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> Are you for real? There it is, dude. This is this is the ultimate jest. Oh, Why would I have a promise saying, ring? I don't know. Maybe Do you think I care enough about me? somebody to, to get a promise ring from them? Well, you know, you did say that one time. You know. What? I did say that one time. What do you what mean? What did you say? What did you uh, say? Oh, you know. Me and JQ <laughs> were just oh, no. hanging out. <laughs> And he said he's waiting for your promise ring? Yeah. And I said, no, JQ, I'm a married man. Are you actually married? Fuck no. no. I just lived with my... I've been with my girlfriend for four years and we lived together, so... Oh, damn. Yeah. So you might as well be married. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, Pasta rejoined the <laughs> sea. Bless you. Someone's a sneezy little kitten. Oh, my gosh. No, it's because I'm sick. <laughs> you're not... Dude, you're a fake sick, so... Mitch, you're so... <laughs> a sneezy little kitten. Yeah, he's... Oh, it's LaCroix. What's poppin', baby? Yo, what's up? LaCroix, I'm on stream right now, so... Yeah. Oh, no. My fault. No, it's okay, cutie pie. You're always welcome here. Where are you streaming? On YouTube. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumb pasta welcome to the voice chat what's your question cool. so um you know how uh fashion and and design hey can you hear me yeah we can hear mm -hmm. you brother. sure all right so I, I was talking about how uh design and fashion you know um those things have like a trend cycle so um do you think ever gonna be like a convergence of trend and fashion because i've seen some trends like starting to look a lot like the same thing over and over again hmm. <clears throat> like are you talking about like there's a bunch of baggy pants like being sold and it's just like different reiterations uh no, my question is more about like the the like the big picture, like in in time. You you think it's gonna be like ever a convergence in fashion or design? No. Because trends, like the thing about trends is that like trends push people from the mainstream to be to feel like they're a part of a community, of like being different. That's what they sell, and also to like feel like they they're cool by participating in said trend. And if that changes, then the a lot of these fashion houses, or I would say fast fashion companies, won't be able to make money off the the unprivileged people that aren't able to buy into high fashion. Because, like, I mean, high fashion is, a, like, it is a very, it's a status symbol to be even purchasing stuff like that in general. But, like, fast fashion is supposed to help people that can't purchase things from runways and stuff firsthand, which I think most of us can't in the first point and that's supposed to allow people to like kind of contribute to being able to like get into quote unquote fashion in that sense. Also, hmm, go ahead. I would like to pitch the idea that like 
there are, you know, at least in America, I'll say this, um, but because it's such a cultural melting pot, bro, there's shit that's trendy in certain communities that'll never be trendy in other communities. That's Quite true. Yeah. Simple. Like yeah. stuff in London you, uh, versus here. It's super different. Yeah. I mean, especially like I said, even just in America, bro, like same, same city. You have like, you know, like the whole memes about like baggiest jeans in Atlanta. Oh yeah. Because like stereotypically, you know, in Atlanta's, you know, predominantly African American culture. Yeah. They wear fucking skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, there's plenty of white people in Georgia that aren't wearing skinny jeans. You know what I mean? And it's like it's trendy to wear fucking purple jeans or Amiri's with like a skinny cut in those you know environments and those <laughs> cultural circles. And then in other ones in the same neighborhood, it's not. So I think that's another big factor in it as well. It's just that like because of the diversity of cultures and stuff, I don't know if there ever will be truly like a convergence. Fair enough. I mean, that's that's a good point. Yeah, well, that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Good question, bro. I mean, a trend stops being a trend when the majority of the population in a country and in a social group start to get sick of it. Hence, uh, quote-unquote, the social group, because that could be, or country, because everything's different in different countries. I got. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I have to leave for a second. You're fine. <laughs> She's gonna just mute. Say on stream. She's mute. I know. <laughs> uh, Lacroix, why are you trying to get? Why are you trying to get David in here? Shit's about to get really bad if he gets in here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll leave. I was I'll, not I inviting him. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, but you still added him, so then he's gonna like try and join. Join if I say something. You left a little box at your unit door. Please open it and show it to stream. Do not join. I I will I will kick him out. I will not put him in here. <laughs> It's been like what three hours? Oh, it's been three hours streaming. I think I'm gonna get off right now off stream. Fair. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Mitch, for for joining on this and giving your insight. It's yes. much appreciated. I'm back. I don't no know how else. to use Discord, so I didn't know you how to mute. You just mute yourself. You don't. You don't announce that to the world of people. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, by the way, I need a. Nine, I need a potty break. People, I'll be back. Ninety people heard you say you needed a potty break. <laughs> all right, right, all right. Let's stop. Let's stop. I need a potty break. Like at I'm that so point, good. let your nuts hang and do it on mic. That's what I would have done. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Is someone pissing in here? <laughs> question mark. I don't know how to mute myself. I don't know how to use Discord. That's tough. I figured you would at least let's 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 see if there's one more question. This is the last person in in voice chat. This is the yeah. My question is like, fashion make you lonely? All right, well, great question. To quote Speaker Knockers, I had to make a couple bands by my lonely. So You're stupid. <laughs> um, I mean, in order to buy these, you know high fashion brands that I enjoy, I had to make a couple bands by my lonely. So that was pretty lonely. But started yeah. with nothing. I was hungry. Hungry, yeah, dude, you get it. But does fashion make you lonely on a serious note? Do you think it does? I think you. It only makes you lonely if you ostracize yourself if, from dude, like if you, okay. people. The, pro I think the that's problem with what every is. fucking fashion enthusiast ever. Once you get to a certain Please. point, it's being a fucking insult loser, dude. Usually, like, yeah, always. Yeah, if you if you want to if you really want to leave your house wearing like you know all fucking Yoji, knock yourself out, bro. But don't be surprised when members of the general population look at you like you're fucking weird because you probably are a little weird. And also you can't act right. Like that's what happens, bro. Every fucking time. Look at Whips. That kid has a fucking insane closet. He's yeah, a well, fucking Whips is weird. weird. Yeah. He's, and that's what happens every time. Be, like, you have to like get hobbies. Like, just, like the thing normal. is, yeah, it's like the fucking, you know, like the crazy hot scale. Like, you know, you always look for a woman on the right side of it. Duh. Like, every time, it's, like, the fucking fashion crazy scale is the same thing. You know? Yeah. The There's... better your fucking clothes are, the weirder they are. Like, 100% of the time. 
I think it's just like most most of the time, like a lot of these fashion people make it their personality, and then yep. like people detest like people like that. So then it's just like you know, because you're very one want... dimensional. Like you, no, you, know, you don't have any depth, bro. If you're consuming clothing just because. It's like that's all you want to do. I don't know. It's not I'm not gonna it's gonna make you lonely. Yeah. Be normal. I think it's just a cope, I mean, for most people, because they feel like it'll give them confidence and then they get amongst the community of people that if not yeah. well, praise them also, for that. Like, dude, everyone who's into like fucking archive fashion or whatever is like sixteen and fucking in high school, like bro, you're not gonna have your life figured out. You're not gonna be great at socializing in every fucking aspect of life ever either. <laughs> like no shit, you probably, you know, you're going to be a little ostracized just because you're 16 and finding yourself and, like, fucking realizing who you are for the next, like, five fucking years. Fashion That's the other style. part of it, too. But, like, you know, people are, might think you're a little weird if you have that being the only, uh... Trait. You know. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's like the dudes that are like, do you just go to the gym and then, like, the people gym, will bro. start talking to, to you? Gym, yeah, that's like yeah, the gym cell kind of like idea where it's like you'll build confidence, but then it the thing is like you might look good, but like you your personality still sucks. Like, yup. And then you make gym your personality. You could, you, you could throw a, a little calm little fit, you know, get it popping. And if you go and try and spit game, and it doesn't work out because you can't fucking talk to people, it's your problem, bro. It's not because of the fit. Maybe it's a personality. Bit, but, you know. the, the rise of fashion incels. Uh, I am going full ER soon. Great question. I am the supreme gentleman. <laughs> Kidding. Sixteen-year-olds dress like the Ray, like Ryuk or Final Fantasy characters. They think they're so unique and dress like every other teenager. I call that stinky style. Like people that dress like that, I it's stinky style. Hmm. You know, we've seen people that dress like that, Kay, and I'm like the, the stinky style. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. We have. Yeah. yeah. Dude, people who rock with the stinky style, one hundred percent, also tweet about how they want a pink-haired GF. Oh God. I'm. They want Ramona flowers. Yeah, dude. There's. A, I'm not gonna name names. But there's a certain Discord user in this server. That, oh. Uh, you can definitely... type it in chat. All right. Copy that. Can you screenshot that? I don't care. I already have beef with them. Uh, oh, really? Okay, interesting. That's them, bro. 100%. I don't think I've ever seen them talk about stuff, but I'll take your word on it. Um, but, you know, what can you say? <clears throat> Do those people do, that have man? stinky style, man? I don't know. I would agree with everyone wearing stinky style at 16. It's a terrible take. I don't know about you guys, but when I was 16, I had it popping, bro. At when I was 16, I was wearing all black. I was wearing all black, but the denim was waxed, so people would fuck with me. You know? Mm, then you were cooler than me. <laughs> yeah. Waxed denim. Yeah. She waxed in my denim. All right, I'm getting off stream after that. It's three hours. It's been three uh, hours. Also, stream. Data Live L, I am a 47 year old. You are not 47. I'm 47 years old, 47 years young, blessed with a beautiful wife. <laughs> he said wife. Mitch will be ascended <laughs> to Gandhi heaven. 47 <laughs> years young with a wife and two children, uh, a dog, <laughs> looking to make f- friends, <laughs> females and couples only. <laughs> All right, uh... I'm getting off, dude. Thank you, everybody, for joining stream. Um, I'm really sick. Like and subscribe, dude. I'm like, I'm like, it looks like I popped a molly in my my room right now because of how like I look wet because I'm sweating. My face looks wet. It's like, do you see my like? Look how wet I look. Look moist. I'm glad no one can hear what you're saying right now. <laughs> Good night, stream.